G'day mate, how are ya? Sorry about that, I'm just doing all the social media stuff at the moment. Just posting everywhere. <laughs> um, just a couple of minutes out, so I've just put the just beginning thing on and we'll get started soon. Uh, I've, I've said that we're doing an uneducated list review. You're not wrong. Do you like the, I don't know if you've seen the post yet, but the, the, the opening thing is uh, just uh, absolutely primitive is what I've written there. <laughs> Alrighty, um, just a couple of minutes out. Last call for anyone who wants to join in. Don't forget to pop your camera on and move your washing. Yeah, that'd be fun. You yeah, good? I'm eating at the moment. Oh, you're eating? Uh, well, we'll go live in a hot second. Oh, five minutes. Not much to say. All right, I'm gonna pop up the live now. Ah, oh, what a pretty boy, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Just casually watch a fucking man eat and stream. Have no idea what he's talking about. This is what we're about. Yeah, that's that's it. Um, so we're five minutes out. Just getting everything set up, making sure everything's nice and uh, and ready. Uh, six minutes down. We got no viewers, but they'll come. I believe it. We're like Jerusalem. We're gonna build it, and they will come. Um, Honestly, hope we get at least someone who knows what they're talking about on. Ah, oh, I, I doubt that highly. Actually, I think that it's just going to be you and me. Uh, unfortunately, the, the the fact that everyone's sort of doing everything tonight—it's just like the list seemed to come out. I really wanted to get on the gun. Maybe we can. Um, uh, mob crushes yelling at me. I tried to get Adam. Uh, who won uh, the Maitland GT on, but unfortunately oh, yeah. he had some stuff going on tonight. But he said he'd be uh, watching uh, and and waiting. And Magro invited me to use his Discord. I, I just didn't have permissions. That's lovely. Yeah, I I can I know his Discord, but I don't know it. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I just I just didn't have uh, permissions in there, um, and I didn't want to risk. Uh, someone just pop it in and uh, and you know you know how it is I'm glad you got the all okay from Magro he's probably happy to see us fuck up and have no idea what we're talking about oh absolutely because it's the first list from uh, Adam I just have absolutely like it took me a while I had to go and look up what the Dom Hine uh, enclave did which is the reroll ones when you charge and some other fun stuff um Wants to hit, wants to wound. I'm assuming hit. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Reroll wants to hit. Although wound is like a solid thing now. Like not a, not a lot of people um get any wound buffs or wound rolls. So it's nice to see uh, you know when something gets that. Still salty that they changed the the sun bloods uh, the sun bloods command trait to um, to not re like not picking an enemy unit. That you got rerolls to wound, which I felt like was like a really meta sort of like niche choice that you might run. Uh, it's like, oh, there's a little bit of spice in Saurus, but um, but uh, yeah, they just took took that away from us. As a side note, show me on your screen which list you're looking at. On my screen. Yeah, because I'm not going to be able to. 
the, the website doesn't really work for me. Oh, it does not work for you? All right. Um, let's do this. Um, really? Okay. Give me one second. I'll, uh, I'll also pop up my screen for Best Coast Pairings. There you go. You'll be able to look at that straight up. And I, can I just hide this? Um, okay, there we go. There we go, it's just you and me. That's hidden, focus. Okay, cool. So that stream has been hidden just so that we don't have to double up. Can you see this? 925 points is interesting. What is? He's on 1925 points. Yeah, that is interesting, isn't it? Um, Maybe there's just nothing you can fit in there for that amount. No, um, peak degeneracy in here now. Peak degeneracy. <laughs> it is on time as always. Hey Scott, we're actually streaming, mate. I noticed. Ah, but I don't know what you're streaming. <laughs> no, like we're actually like recording on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Have fun. <laughs> Catch you, mate. Uh, shout out to Scott, one of my admins on the Painted Right pages. Um, he's probably just... Don't Where's stream. my admin fucking rolls in this? Well, you're, you're a degenerate. You don't get rolls in here. You you wouldn't make me a, uh, an admin of your... Uh, of your Where Discord. Are. Oh, am I? Alright, so it's just about the tick over the 6 o'clock and we'll get started. Um, uh, yeah, Damo. Uh, I think I might be able to turn desktop audio up hold on i can turn him up on my end it should change you having problems steering me apparently try now yes jordan how's that mate i will find out in about five minutes <laughs> all righty um so if you don't know, I'm Hayden from Painted Right. I'm also part of the Western Warriors. This is Damien. He's part of the Western Warriors. Um, we've been, we played in a couple of the GTs. We're not really um, like big names, but we thought we'd just have a crack of having a look at some of these lists because uh, last year when there were some lists uh, that we thought were really cool, we saw overlooked. So we thought, oh, well, we'll take a, um, an apes look at the, uh, <laughs> look at the lists. And Basically, if you just wanted to hear a couple of people talk about lists and have absolutely no idea what they're talking about, this is for you. Yeah, this this is you walking up to the table and being like, okay, so what does that do? As a side note, you can see on screen um, that we actually have 14 Stormcast Eternals and then Ideneth Deepkin in like the second, coming in second with seven. And then Ogre More Tribes. Uh, like, if you look at that spread, I mean, Stormcaster Eternals is pretty obvious as, like, something that you probably get a lot of, but, uh, yeah, thanks. Sorry about it, Jordan. Um, but, yeah, just really cool that, um, that Ideneth and Ogre are really up there. Um, I kind of expected Seraphon to be really high up there because, you know, just Salamanders. I also expected Sons of Behemoth and Dodd as a cane and whatnot, but it looks like we got a pretty good spread. Although I'm expecting to see a lot of stuff that's just long strikes, and we go, okay, cool. Um, at the end of this, I think we'll pick, which is like the most based list, you know, um, so, something really cool. You know, there's there's meta breaking in, in higher tier armies as well. I think we saw when we had a look, there was someone running like Gotrek and, uh, and Marathi, which was absolutely wild. Marathi and the Bode Snakes with, with Gotrek is just... Whew. Yeah, which I can say now, you're basically missing out on what your army does by taking Marathi. You reckon? That I can at least comment on. You yeah, mean 100%. by taking Gotrek? Uh, yeah, that's what I meant, sorry. Yeah, yeah. For, when you're I mean... taking Gotrek in that list with Marathi, with the bow Snakes, you're missing out on the durability of the Snakes because you can shoot twice, you move a million fucking inches. I mean, I played against Liam and had a very close win because of some uh, Maitland GT uh, rule shenanigans, um, you know, and, and I remember that being a really hard list. I charged him with my Stegodong chief and 
I don't know. I was having like a cognitive dissonance moment where I had the the minus one artifact on on the steg and thinking, oh well, he's going to be minus two to hit, and he just like straight up did like <laughs> ten mortal wounds to my guy trying to charge again in Overwatch. So that was absolutely wild. Um, yeah, it was good great, to watch. Yeah, great game, great game, and and uh, you know a little bit of a shame at uh, Maitland GT with that last um, last mission choice, but they knew they're just getting the hang of it, so. Hopefully next time we go up, uh, there's just some fixes on the terrain choices up there and, and that last mission. Um, anyways, yeah, so let's start off. We've got uh, Adam, what is it? Adam ba Bajada. Adam Bajada. Yeah, I yeah. know this guy. He's an awesome guy. His painting has come a hell of a long way. I'm excited to see. I always love to see Ideneth Deep Kim on the table. And we've got um, Hold the Line, which is Keep three battle line or two battle line alive all the lines keep all your battle line alive all of them oh. all of it okay um and well i mean you can have at least you know one unit on the table but you just got to keep your battle line alive i mean he's got a fair amount here we've got we've got uh 50 uh infantry models with uh 30 thralls and 20 reavers and two sharks and then we've got an R. kelly and king um and another uh, an Eidolon. Yeah, Aspect of the Storm. I think that one's the combat one. Don't quote me. Again, we're literally the two guys that have no idea what we're talking <laughs> about going through army lists. And the new Thrillmaster, he was in a new box, wasn't he? The he Thrill was, Master. yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to see how that came. Um, and it looks like it's... Is everything in the Battle Regiment there? Yeah, it looks um, like it's all in Battle Regiment. Except the King, so he's a two-drop. He's a two-drop. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it does tell me down here, but it's always fun to do the math. Oh, there you go. Uh, he is uh, 65, uh, 75 points under, um, yep. which probably means that he's going to get that indomitable there. I think this is going to be a really, like, this goes on, like, a high based. I think it's really cool. I know that the Namadi Thralls and Reavers actually are a big hobby, um, like, a uh, a big hobby challenge to do them they've got a lot of detail on them as you were telling me a while ago yeah the um the Ideneth deepkin currently the meta is to take the thralls to take your um thrall masters because the synergy between them is amazing i'm really excited to play this and you know like you're not going to have a feel bad game because you're going to kill some of those thralls and some of those reavers and even if you lose, you're going to feel like you killed something, which is a big part, I think, of, of having a game which is, like, a feel-good game. Um, and I know the guy, so he's probably uh, one of the few gentlemen that I can think of that if he doesn't do very well, which I think this is, like, a fairly good list, um, at, at least a, a three and two, at the very least, if not more. Um, I think that he's definitely in the running for, like, best sports. All right, so let's uh, quickly, because if we don't, if we don't keep chugging along we won't yeah, see yeah we talk about the one guy's list for the next six yeah, hours yeah. that's what we're gonna do yeah so we got adam southwell here so now some of these we're just gonna go by name because i was gonna do factions but then i thought oh well um that gets a little bit boring if we do like uh the 14 storm cast in a row so we just go uh down here uh here we go uh so we got maggot king of nervil befouling host uh and what have we got we got uh wow look at all those visa nurgle now this is pretty I cool. I, I know that it's fucked. What I can't tell way? you to what degree that it's <laughs> fucked because the beasts and Nurgle are amazing. That's actually um, what has he got? He's got them in Hunters of the Hand, oh no, Vanguard, and we got Battle Battle Regiment, and we got t uh, twenty plague, bear plague bearers and uh, Hunters of the Heartland. It's very cool. We're ten points under. We're eight drops. Um, I, I really haven't gotten a chance to play against the new Mag Maggot Ken of Nurdle. I'm really not super educated on like this whole faction. Uh, uh, I, can, I can basically tell you now, the Great Unclean one's going to be sitting there laughing at you at turn 5 while you just cry as your army melts away with disease. The Plague Bearers <laughs> are probably going to die, but the Beasts and Nurgle are just sitting in your back line laughing in your face. Yeah, this I love it. This list is going to do good. This definitely looks like... I mean, Nurgle's one of those armies that... Oh, and, and we've got nine Untamed Beasts. Um, I'm not quite sure. Uh, uh, they're the Warcry that. Warband, yeah? Oh, okay. It's really cool. That That's, like, definitely a plus one on the base Dometer for running a, a Warband. Because, I mean, I know the Seraphon one's, like, two, uh, 100 or 270 points. So, it's, I mean, 70 points is pretty is good. Warcry? I think it's Warcry, yeah. 
Like it's it's cool. Love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beasts are beasts. Absolutely goading faint. Um, all right. So uh, let's pop over to. I mean, there's not really much to say. I I, I don't know. I, I don't know this. much about it. Yeah. yeah like yeah, but... um, we're just gonna be saying every single list that we come across. Hey. This is freaking cool. I mean, I, I have no idea what it does. I, I know a lot of Stormcast, and I know a lot of the older factions, but especially like, uh, like if did we have any KO? Hold on, let's go have a look. Do we have any Caradron Overlords? Oh, we got one. There's a one Chad which is taking KO. One Chad? Do you reckon they're Chad, or are they pretty like? Ah, oh, they definitely got rooted. Oh really? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we just killed We've got Alexa, Alexa here. Alexa Pavkovic. I probably didn't get his name right. I've known some... him for a while now through um, Lord of the Rings. He's a really good guy. He actually taught me the ropes in my first game. Oh, wow, really? Oh, well, look. Yeah. Um, Soulblight Gravelords, the Castellite Dynasty, and, uh, you know, Prince Fordry, which is pretty standard for um, f for death at the moment, for especially this. And we've got a Vampire Lord on Zombie Dragon, a Vangorian Lord. That's that's all pretty uh, standard because I'm pretty sure the Vangorian Lord also has an AOE um, a modifier as well. So he's really good for that because, you know, not a lot of things in Age of Sigma actually have those AOE um, uh, buffs or debuffs. So that's really cool. And then we've got 15 Blood Knights, which actually is based. Love, uh, you know, three units of five Blood Knights. I know that the uh, zombies are, like, pretty good too. Oh my god, and the Blood Knights are in Hunters of the Heartlands as well. So that's just going to make them just a lot more tough than they usually are. Um, and I know all of these characters really pack a punch, so... Uh, the Vengorian Lord, the last time I versed it, I had Gotrek attack it, it survived, and I ran away, and I couldn't catch it till two turns later. I hate the bloody thing. Oh, really? I mean, it's, yeah. a, it's a nice model as well, like an absolute... It's cool, I love it. If yeah, I was to yeah. do a Soulblight Grave Lord's army, which I almost did... I would definitely base it around a Vengorian Lord. 123 wounds, and I know that they're healing a lot of wounds, so you could probably pop that up to like 150. I well, the zombies, when you um, kill shit, I believe you get a chance to roll a dice and you bring more on. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, like, really cool list. Um, excited to see, you know, Blood Knights are always wonderful, especially like old ones, new ones, they're still like really cool models to see on the board. And, you know, Cavalry, Cav Cavalry, Cavalry kind of got shafted. Um, I think in this edition, so I think it's like a really Chad move to take like three units of, of Blood Knights, even though they they are I would consider them like pretty good as far as cavalry go. But like it's it's really cool to see those there. So we'll just shift over because uh, we do have eighty lists. So we've got Alex Alex Murray. Murray. Oh, this degenerate. Oh uh, yeah. Shout yeah. out to him. Yeah. <laughs> From D three model wounds, we got uh, Hello Heart, uh, Prize Sorcery. Does the model realm matter anymore? Nah, it doesn't, unless you're taking the uh, fucking weapon from it. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so, what have we got? Uh, a, a, a Coven Sorceress. Only 95 points um, for, like... Yeah, it's Cities of Sigma. It's bloody terrible unless you're taking Living Cities. You reckon? Yeah. Um, we got... A ca Shout out to my man, Kaleth... Kaleth... Slicey boy, warden, warden of, of the, the shard That wastes. See, so we can't even English tonight. Yeah, yeah we have yeah. no idea what we're talking about. We can't English. Is that like shard waste? As in like a shard, or is that like as I in to ask shard you. like a, a shard of glass? Um, depend. I guess maybe it depends on how many games he wins. Um, I love that we've got all named um, all named champions here. I didn't have the time to do that in my own list. Uh, Free Guild General on Griffin is really cool to see. That's a wonderful model. It's a little old. It could use an update, but it's like it's still a really nice. And we've got a Hurricanum with Celestial Batamage there. Um, I'm not. I mean, I know the the Flaming Weapon, um, but the Hallow Heart spells. I'm not super. They're not like a, a very. Sea um, Wounds is a healing spell. Ah, uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Then we've got uh, 10 Black Guard, 10 Black Guard, and 30, uh, 20 Dark Shards, and 10 Dread Spears. Dark Shards are the crossbows, Dread Spears, obviously Spears. They're, they're... Uh, they're all in the Battle Regiment. So they're going to be one drop. And then oh, he's get... a double Battle Regiment. Oh, that's pretty cool. So two drop is uh, pretty Demi good. Griffs, I think they're still terrible, so I will... This is definitely up there in terms of um, 
one Chad. of the lists I love. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and they're also really and they look really gorgeous. Cool. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're, they're asking really, really for photos. Cool. Yeah, abs absolutely. Um, and we're down to nineteen forty-five points. I feel like you could have probably put in a like an endless spell just like to pump that up. What, what triumph does he have? Inspired. I don't know if it's worth. I don't think a. Uh, you know, surely there's like a fifty point spell or something you could pop in there, even just for a little utility. You know, um, but that's just my personal. It looks like he's gone for the additional enhancement spell, so his whole list is based around trying to get that additional spell in. Yeah, very cool list. I'll be happy, like, super keen to see it on the board. And you can tell that just by naming all these characters, he's really passionate about his art. Oh, the so... dude's been painting his dark elves for so long. Oh, I'm gonna get slapped when I see him there and be like, oh, I, I swear I'm a commission painter, and <laughs> he's just gonna blow me off the table with how good it looks. Oh, all right, gorgeous, man. Uh, Alex Sleth from Goonhammer. Let's have a quick squeeze here. Let's... Come on, best coast pairings. Uh, Alex oh, is a guy I versed in um, oh, Golden Smash a couple years ago when we went there. Yeah. And um, it was his foray back into Age of Sigma, and he bloody smashed me with um, the okay. Bone Daddies. What are they? Osiak Bone Reapers. Oh, well, he's changed it up here. He's got Night Haunt now with Emerald Hold Host here. He's got Hold the Line, which I guess you've got a lot of chain rafts that you want to keep alive. Yeah. Um, you know, really abs absolute Chad bringing Night Haunt. I know they've been really shafted this edition. Um, Jess, my partner, she she's uh, a big lover of Night Haunt, but I just couldn't, like, I couldn't advise that she gets into the game until maybe, you know, they get an update or something, because right now, you know, with how hordes are and whatnot. I was actually just sitting here wondering, where the hell is his points? It's because I kept overlooking Nagash is sitting there. Oh, yeah, he is there. Abs I mean, wonderful model. Um, now that you can roll double ones, he's, like, a bit more risky. Cause... Yeah. I'm... Poor Michael, man. <laughs> he rolled double mm. ones twice <laughs> when I was versing him. He's lazy. Uh, yeah, two years to name my characters. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm a bad man. Um, he's 1950 points, which means most of the time he's probably going to be getting that uh, that triumph. Um you know, Nagash is pretty cool. I hope this does well. Um, and now that Nagash kind of got shafted in that FAQ about what he can and can't do in Night Haunt, uh, it's probably not yeah, as good as it used to be. It's another contender for the Chad list. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I hope that he goes uh, three and two at least. That's a good. It's a good sort of Night Haunt result. Yeah, but... Nagash will get him up there. Yeah, you reckon? I mean, especially I reckon so. Get... As long as he doesn't roll a freaking double one and just sits there like sad Pepe going, that's fine. Can Rakesh still cast um, Arcane Bolt as much as he wants? Yeah, he can still cast like seven or eight times. Uh, it's just not as good now because it's one or D3 if they're within 12 or, or three, you know, whatever it is. Um, I don't use it that often. I've usually got other spells I want to cast. All right, uh, let's pop down here now to uh, Alexander Cron. Painted Black team. I've not heard of Painted Black. Do you know them? Not a clue, man. Okay, we've got... Oh, this is our KO player. Brack Thring. I've got to be honest. I don't know very much about KO. I really haven't seen them over the last year. I didn't think they were that bad. I, I thought it was like a shooting army, especially in the meta right now, they, they would be good. The problem is, is um, it, they need to be further away from the enemy. This edition is all about close combat. It's all about getting into the thick of it on the objectives that are mostly in the center of the table. So poor Caradron Overlord players sitting there going, well, either I sit on the back of the table and score no points, otherwise I get destroyed. Yeah, I guess that's right. I mean, and they obviously don't meet the DPS check at the moment. Um, for No, and a lot of that stuff I believe is fours to hit. Please correct me in the channel. The more you guys correct us, the better it is. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty rough for for KO at the moment. I mean, they've got, the, they've got some new rules. I did have a quick sque squeeze at those rules, but... How'd you go? Know, I have no idea what they do. I didn't see the White Dwarf. I, I did have a look at the rules, but overall, I as per all uh, sort of um, leaks, someone's like smeared like oil over the camera before they've taken photos, and I just, I just couldn't. Um, but we've got all those really, like we've got 20 Arcanaut uh, company, and we've got... Um, 
an ironclad there, which is really cool. You know, I bet this is a really nicely painted army. Uh, I'm super keen to see it on the table. Um, That's the thing about... Sorry to interject. That's the thing, right? They always look good. Contrast them, they look great. Dry brush them, they look great. Layer, highlight, do your basic, they look great. It's just, I love Caradron. I, I remember uh, watching some poor gentleman uh, delve into insanity as he uh, started NNM on his uh, KO. But um, best of uh, luck to you. Um, if there's any like spice here that I've missed, uh, let me know. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to comment. Look, I'll, I'd love to say 3-2. I hope he goes 4-1. I have no idea. All right, Alexandra Cron, we've, thank you very much for bringing KO. It'll be nice to be uh, one of the... Well, actually, the only, the KO, only. Play, KO player. Um, Fellowship of the Dice. Uh, we've got Hammerers of Sigma. Um, probably a negative one on my base list. Uh, what have we got here? We've got... Uh, here we go. Gentleman who is... So this is your... Yeah, Sebastian Carthalos, the ridiculously underpointed Stormcast character. Mm. Look, I just did, you know, six out of his seven wounds. I mean, But he up. killed a guy. As a healer. He, he gets all those wounds back. I, th I think this guy would be broken if you reduce damage to one like Gotrek. I... I... I fear for the day you see a Lord Commander Bastion and a Gotrek in the board. It would just be like the Jaws thing as they shift up the board very slowly to, you know, just ruin your day. But he, you know, with some bad rolls and only a four up save, um, you know, a four up after save, he's like spooky. Um, but yeah, probably... he, he can take more than one wound a turn. That's right. Yeah, yeah. He, he can take, uh, he, can t he doesn't reduce damage like, um, like Gotrek does. Um, and he can also, you know, do some stuff where he does, like, a horde killing ability where you pick a, you know, dice. And for each model in the unit, if you roll six, it gets mortal wounded, you know, and... Uh, yeah, he's a really good force multiplier. I still think he's heavily under cost of what he does, but, I mean, again... What's Gotrek at the moment? Uh, for, for 480, something along the lines. Yeah, he could probably go up to 350, I think. Um, but... Uh, we've got Lord Relictor. Lord Relictor, Arcane Tome, Celestial Blades, Translocation, pretty stock standard. Battle Mage, that's a new one. I haven't seen a Battle Mage. Um, Dracothian Fulminators, they are an absolute goddamn beat stick. Now, Ghost so, Beast, stick if I am correct, is the... It's minus one to hit. I'm no, sure. No, no. Ghost Mist is the new spell that, um, that stops you from... Uh, seen through a piece of terrain from memory. Let me just have a quick squeeze of that. Because um, I... Pr well, I'll just keep rattling on as you do that. And you, you just... Um, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to have a done. quick... Uh... So, Dracothian Fulminators, as aforementioned, absolutely amazing. I have no idea what the rules writers were thinking or smoking when they decided to rewrite their rules. <laughs> Don't be too um... salty about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, I had one of... A unit of two killed half my army um vindicators they're just basic uh ra vanguard raptors long strike crossbows they're getting translocated by all mate to the other side of the table staying away from you but they'll still shoot the hell out of you storm drake guard everyone loves dragons they're amazing uh 1970 points he's a one drop which is yikes and um 83 wounds he's a bit on the lower end of wounds but that's perfectly fine i mean it's exactly yeah. what storm does do. so so i took i took ghost mist on my my skink for this reason it's a casting value of five and a range of six and you can pick a terrain piece within um range and visible of the cut like within six inches and until your next hero phase, visibility between the two models is blocked if a, one, a straight line one millimetre wide is drawn between the chosen points of the two models. So that's like really cool that he can drop, uh, I think he can drop this Battle Mage down and hopefully get that off where, and like cordon off this big Well, the Battle area. Mage is going to be on the start of the table to begin with because it, I don't think it gets this Stormcast ability. So he's sitting there in the back line just going, the piece of terrain in front of me, you can't see through it. Well, maybe it's in those rare occasions where you want to take first turn and just block shooting. I mean, not yeah, from Sentinels, but, you know, um, it is what it is. Uh, it's one drop, so it's probably going to be taking the lead. Um, the six Raptors, you know, he, you know what's going on here. Someone's, it's just, it's just a, it's just a bad time for your opponent all around. Um, 
I definitely see this going four and one, or I um, mean, it well, it depends should... if he gets a mirror match. If he does, then well, yeah. I mean, this what it's fourteen down... Stormcast players out there, so there's a high chance he's gonna run into his duplicate because this is more or less the same kind of list I run. It, it, it's really gonna depend on those rolls on those Raptors as well. Like if you hot roll with them, uh, it's like it's almost GG. But if you don't, like, oh well, too bad, so sad. All right, next one, we've got. Um, Anthony Dean, we don't know what he's running. It's going to be a little surprise for us. Um, uh... <laughs> I see. I used to meet you. So oh. I, <laughs> I have to say, I want to have a game against this guy, and all he has to do is really shitty Batman Returns quotes all night. Yeah, he has to. Uh, I nice love it. to meet you. Uh, we got bold ahead. We got hold the line. Absolutely. Look, don't get me wrong, but. Anyone who, as a general rule, people who play Destruction are just, like, the most fun people, right? 100%. They, and, they, like, you can see here, he's run something completely different than the usual. You can't see it, but I'm pointing at my screen. <laughs> he's got he's got the usual um, Frost Lord Huskard, but he's got two Butchers, and he's got two units of Mournfangs. Oh, two Butchers? This guy, this guy has my heart. He's wow. probably going to get destroyed, but I fucking love him. What? So the... he's, he's most likely going to go 3-2. At the absolute maximum, unless he has some really good gra- is there games. Any, is there any spice here in this in this magic? Um, I can't recall what Greasy Deluge does, but Ribcracker is minus one to your armor save. That's pretty until cool. Until your next hero phase. Like if he can keep up with the Stonehorn and throw that like Ribcracker cracker down, and then the Stonehorn like roars your oh, monster. So you that scroll down can't... even further, I can see more. He's got a Beast Rider as well, so he's got three Stonehorns, <sighs> eight Mournfangs, two Butchers. I, I love it. Why didn't I think of this? A- abs- absolutely, like, this is... Whenever we play, you know, it's so... Like, I don't say simple. It's, it's just, like, you just go forward and there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, you, you just sit there, you're like, all right, so what am I going to do? And I just lean over the table. I'm and, gonna charge, and, and you can take a punch with that five up after save on most of your dudes as well. I mean, you obviously want to be taking the charge. He's six drops, which means he's probably not getting it. Um, which means that I think the hardest like matchup for this guy is gonna be maybe Marathi the bow snakes and uh, it's shooting. Shooting's your biggest problem. Um, do you get the, the five up in shooting as well? Uh, you do, but that's only the stone horns. Whereas mm. the poor Mornfang, which they they are so crap. <laughs> That's why I say I love this list. The more thing you're going to get destroyed. You know, you could pr- pretty much give them the, almost the same stat block as the pigs, and they would feel fairly balanced. Maybe a little pricey. You could, like, if you just give them the same abilities as the pigs, but they don't have that. And he's like, look, he's got one unit with Gargan Hackers and the other ones with Cullen Clubs. Yeah, um, so Gargan Hackers, the uh, force to hit, threes to wound, rend one, damage three. The problem being the force to hit. They're uh, the only unit in the book which retained their old war scroll pretty much all right well i i hope to see him i think this is definitely a three two list um i, I hope you enjoy moving your models forward um and I, any destruction player loves grabbing their models moving them forward, just, and just watching everything forward. Die. not one step back all right okay so now we're up to ashley, ashley McEwen. McEwen. uh we've got some sons of behemoth here actually not a big showing uh, while this is loading only like th- lo- loading loading only three sons of behemoth uh players this time around yeah um, i think it's because of the F- faq that come out they just they're all really sad that they got a tiny bit of a nerf oh oof. i mean yeah i think that uh, it was a little bit of a feel bad because i played ashley for like top spot well i'd like to think top spot um at at the no it was you were a top table there was no doubt about it he versed you he he reamed you because he was he's an amazing player and his army looks fucking amazing oh, so yeah, gorgeous the, it's all, it's all this guy is gonna go four one minimum and he's gonna go five oh maximum like it's almost the same list what he ran before i love it i i think uh, i think that mission where they just won on turn three was like a big oof i i feel like I yeah, had it was a, a bit of fight. a stuff up but that's perfectly fine i mean you you learn from your mistakes but so i don't think the tos are going to do that again absolutely beautifully painted army as a little spice check this out an endless spell horror ghast yeah didn't he take that against you i'm almost certain it's the same list maybe it just didn't ever really get off like it oh, he doesn't need to take it against you mate <laughs> it's an uh... a-lister versus an f-lister <laughs> Oh, <laughs> all right so um yeah i mean there's not really much to say here we've got two mind crusher gargans is this a this is a three drop list you know um what have we got the the mega gargant the kraken eater with glowy lantern and flaming weapon 
and uh, Brant. Another Mega Gargan yeah, with yeah. Violet Mystical Venom. I don't know what any of these artifacts do. I uh, just know that every time I looked over at the table on Maitland GT, there was an army. Then I look at my table, turn around, and the enemy army's gone. It's like, okay. No, they're, they're very strong um, in, in this, you know, in this meta at the moment. Um, I think they did get a little bit hurt by the... Um, especially not being able to get the extra points now from uh from being hunters and not hunted um or, or vice versa they they can't uh, gain those extra cp and now every every um Mega everyone's Gar versus basically three now yeah because it's yeah. you're killing a monster if you take it then you get the one for it being a monster oh sorry let's just say you take monster hunter whatever it's called i can't remember my battle tactics whatsoever no, that's well, not what they do yeah if so you, you, you go to kill a monster which is worth, worth one you kill a monster it's worth an additional one that turn then yeah. you kill a mega gargan which is worth an additional one so each one's worth three minimum yeah yeah and if you're running like uh you know slay the warlord and you kill his general it's that as well which can be up to, yeah. to three or four in some cases so you know good luck uh i know it's a wonderfully painted army painted in that like borderland cell shaded theme um a lot of fun and he's a wonderful player, absolutely a contender for, um, well, from my uh, playthrough of, of best sports. Um, I didn't ever really feel like, you know, I was, even though I was getting my shit, my cheeks absolutely clapped, I didn't actually feel that way. So thank you for putting on the clack KY and doing me gentle. Um, all right, so let's go over to Austin Cranfield. Um, Another got... Cities of Sigma. Yeah, good to see some cities coming up. Uh, let me guess, it's the spell ones. Oh, Mist Haven. That's interesting. I, I, I don't know what that does. But, I mean, what's new? Um, dominating on. Presence. Old Bronchi. He's renamed it. It's a Rune Lord. Absolute So chat. this is... Um, he's done a mix of Dwarves and Dark Elves? Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, you've got to have the Hurricane. It's it's just too good not to have in there. Um, it makes me feel bad. All these guys are named their characters. It makes me look like shit. Yeah, well, you know, if your shoe fits. <laughs> you know, oh, I've my. got my I've got my Lumineth character, who is the exact same name. A salty mix salt. Look at all these chariots. I love it. Oh my god! I think they're very like point. Like, He's got a soul like... screen bridge too to get him across the table. This is I know, he'd probably very... do that with the Iron Drake. He's going to soul screen bridge the Iron Drakes and melt his opponent while he screams and writes them down in his grudge book. I love it. And, and two drops and 1995, so you're going to be getting that triumph against those um, those particularly, um, you know, like those 2,000 point armies. Very, very cool. We've got another Ghost Mist. I think with the shooting meta, you're going to see this spell a lot. Um, you know. Yeah, you're going to see that to stop like your... Um... Mostly, mostly bow snakes yeah, it's, and yeah, the miners. As well as Stormcast. It doesn't work against Illumineth, as we already know. But I mean, minus I know, one I, is still. I love still... it. Like, um, I don't know this guy. I want to see it because this seems like it's going to be a fun list of us. Also, uh, Drysha starring as Drysha Hamjeth. Absolutely, <laughs> absolute Chad. Um, you know, uh, we didn't have a cool list name. I feel like we were just so close to having like. Uh, that name you know really tied all together oh uh, here we go ben smanetti yeah ben smanetti i love uh, this guy and goomsplite gets like absolutely uh, you know it's going to be painted nicely as well so uh we've got hold the line inspired oh hold on is this what i think it is he's oh my taking, god uh, he's taking the boys he's taking the trogus i love oh it my this god. is this is a chad contender chad. if he doesn't go for <laughs> one ben if you're watching which you're probably not you need to fucking go for one, and I will buy you a drink. Absolute fucking Chad. Look at this, man. You know, look, you know, you got Trogos, Rocker, Trogos. He's even got um, Itchy Nuisance, which is a spell I absolutely bloody hate. My God, what? Oh, I'm just so happy right now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, his his own... eight drops, it doesn't matter. I mean, that's probably the best you're going to get as good gifts to, anyway, because you I want mean, the extra artifacts. And you, you've got a Warlord and a Hunters of the Heartland. Um, Hunters of the Heartland with uh, those Rock Up Trogos's uh, 
No, Trogosses. Cool. Jesus Christ. Sorry. We really can't English tonight, can we? Sorry, I'm just so excited to see Trogos on the field. You know, abs and you got Flaming Weapon, which is really cool. Um, yeah, absolutely yeah, super excited to see this on the field. I hope you do really well. Um, absolute five and zero list. Um, well, no, I mean, in our hearts, we hope it goes five zero because yeah, yeah. I'd love to see it gets uh, up there. Yeah, imagine being like a netlister and playing Stormcast Eternals when you could run this absolutely. I bet you this added an extra inch to him, mate, for sure, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> absolutely, this is this is wild. Man's it's fucking to, great. Man's All right, let's to move on to the next one. All right, let's go. Uh, Blake McLaughlin, we got from Brawl. Uh, Blades uh, of Corn. I don't know the guy, but Blades of Corn, he's already got like my another Chad vote. You know what? We've seen a lot of lists so far, which haven't been meta breaking. They've actually been awesome. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that uh, it depends what you consider the meta, right? Is is the meta like internal or external parity? Because like internal parity, I think that Trogos are probably meta breaking, and especially if he goes very well with them. Um, that's definitely something that you know if not like th there's a lot of really good players here really cool guys just uh bringing some cool uh lists what have we got so we got, he's oh, named his list he's named all of his characters he's uh, yeah. running blades of corn rejoice in the slaughter reapers of vengeance i'm i'm gonna like hazard the guess there's a lot of red on these models um, There's probably a lot of red, and all he sees when he's rolling his dice is red. I'm pretty sure that every single corn player is somewhat unhinged, and all they <laughs> want is their opponent's skulls. Uh, whenever they're not in combat, they're very upset. Um, ten Blood Reavers, ten Blood Reavers, ten Blood Reavers. We got Battle Regiment. Five Wrathmongers, Warlord, Battle Regiment. I mean, it's it's just based around the Bloodthirsters of Insensate Rage. It is once all of the mortal wounds on Sixes to Wound. Yeah, I mean, I really hope that um, that this does well. Uh, I think that we've seen that Bloodthirsters uh, just somehow don't manage to make... Like, when you're in combat with them, they feel like they're going to do the damage to you, but they... Um, they, they just, just do nothing, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just, like, those fishing for sixes is probably not a solid strategy, but when it happens, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing, and that's what it's all about. It's about that serotonin when you roll those sixes. Oh, and, mate... It it doesn't matter. Like, they get one kill and the serotonin levels for a corn player is off the charts because they're just like, oh, new skull. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We've got three battle lines, four behemoths. He's really maxed that slot. You know, probably a little bit sad that he couldn't fit um, his... Yeah, I'll fit a fifth one. Well, yeah, <laughs> he absolutely. Just, he just wants all the bloodthirsters. Just bring him in. Uh, two artifacts. Um, yeah, absolutely cool. I, I bet this is going to be a great game. Um, it's going to be a lot of death. And uh, I hope to see this at least a three and zero, but we better keep. You mean moving. three two, but yeah. Uh, nah, three and zero. He's just gonna take his victories and. You know, <laughs> he just walks know. off in the second day after three victories. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't want to play against those people who've gone three and zero. Uh, all right, we've got Ben v Bob Ben Bob Van Emmerich. Bob Van Emmerich. This is Mortar. the um the soul black guy I've asked before. Absolutely amazing guy. Love him. His army is starting to look great. And it's the Vengorian Lord I versed, which ran away. Was this so, a Maitland GT? It was. So shout out to Bob. You you made me mad when it comes to your bloody thing surviving. Uh, was this the guy who slow played? Ah, it doesn't really matter. Let's just okay. talk about his list. Okay. No, I was just wondering. Um, so we got uh, we got Soul Blight Grave Lords. Uh, I did see this Radicar the Beast, which is really cool to see. Uh, Blood Lord, Vangorian Lord, Vampire Lord. A lot of, a lot of leaders here. Yeah, love... they need it, though, because you, your leaders are the thing, right? That's, with any death army, your leaders have to be there. Otherwise, uh, you're and, rooted because you, you got, can't bring shit back. And you've got Manfred. There's a bit of Chad there. Oh, my God. Yeah, Manfred. We've got... Hey, um... that fuck, I, he got a got you on that. I have no idea. Shout out to him that also, at the start of the combat phase, if Manfred's in combat, he'll be like, hey, guess what? Not in combat anymore, and he'll fuck off. <laughs> uh, Lord Death Majors, we've got Blood Knights, absolutely great. Corpse Cart, which is really cool to see. Um, also wonderful that you actually painted that model. I don't think they've had a new update in so long. <laughs> they haven't. It's the same, like, 65-year-old model. It sucks ass. But, well, probably... I mean, anybody who's built one with the old instructions gets a plus one tick to their 
Chad rating because they fucking suck. Oof. So I don't know if the um, look, instructions look, have changed. Look, I can understand why uh, he took a little long because look at all the, that infantry. We've got uh, 60, uh, 70 infantry there, which, I mean, it's part of the reason why I didn't take the 30 skinks because just moving those models around, you know, uh, definitely can give the impression as what we spoke That's about right. before. Yeah. You know, it just takes a long time, especially in the meta where most people are just moving one or two monsters here. Uh, we've got Death Rail Skeletons, Dreadwalker Zombies, and uh, the Blood Knights, all in Hunters of the Heartlands, which means they're going to yeah, be Yeah, so this getting... is the same list he's taken before. I'm almost certain of it. So what we're going to see is um, the zombies sitting in the back line because they don't move very fast. They're zombies. they got no brains. I have no idea what's going on. The corpse cart's going to sit by them, going to give them buffs, debuffs, whatever you need. And um, the rest of it just laughs as it's running around you, absolutely destroying your face. Just so, just from what I'm reading here, I don't know what the go is here. Um, I'm just trying to. So we've got Blood Lord artifact here. We've got. I I, I don't know what the artifacts artifact do. Artifact here. Recall. Um, scroll down. He might have Wall of Battalion. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just weird that it says artifacts to have won. Ah, uh, it's just one of those. Yeah, Freaking yeah. uh, war scroll problems. Anyway, let's move on. This guy's going to go four one minimum at best. Yeah, and right. um, at worst three two. Uh, I don't know if I want to talk about this, Bradley. Ah, uh, he's the general. Just move on. You reckon? Uh, we, be we better <laughs> just do it out of fairness. Uh, Bradley, one of the Western warriors. Uh, oh, we've got. Uh, he's he's oh, named oh. his characters. We All right, we're getting called out now. <laughs> Even the Western warrior boys are called naming their characters, and we haven't yet. I, th I thought I was the based Chad who was running the fun <laughs> list, and here's everyone naming their characters. Um, yeah, I know, right? We've got, we've got uh, two more crashes after my post. I'm glad that he decided to do what brought him joy. I know that more pigs is probably what's more competitive. Um, bit of a Chad move. Beg my pardon. Uh, we've got uh, your general, mega bossy, arcane tome, which is interesting. And fly, oh, he's try so he's trying to flaming well, weapon. time allows you to just you know cast unbind a spell it's pretty good like it's a really good artifact and for somebody who's taking two rolling death cabbages so an absolute crap load of war chances like this guy has just mustered all the forces of the war chanters be like all right boys you got a warband of them, bring them to me. So And all of the gore grunters in the world. Here, here we're trying to get plus two damage on that on that um, war crusher, which is absolutely, yeah. absolutely wild. It's know. bloody horrible. It's like, all right, well, you've just taken 66 wounds. How do you feel about that? 1985 out of 2k, uh, probably going to get... 114 wounds of just absolute beat. I love just absolute, oh, we already know. absolute <laughs> violence when he wakes up in the morning. <laughs> All right. He's going to go minimum, you know, like 3-2. Three, 3-2, two. Three, two, yeah. I reckon least. best if he does everything right, 5-0, oh, otherwise 4-1. Yeah, yeah. We've got Brent Koppel here, who's bringing some more um, Ogre Moor Tribes, which is really great to see. So we've got, uh, let's have a quick squeeze, uh, Boulderhead, which is some more, you know, there's a lot of fucking... Boulderhead, if you don't know, is... Um, it. It's just the really good one for taking your ogre beasts. Gives you extra like, mount traits? It gives you one extra wound on all of your beasts. Oof. Yeah, it's really good. Ah, oh, you know, laughs in um, plus two wounds to... But then again, I think you can take them as battle line as well, though, can't you? The... I'm sure there's a joke here with Rick Steiner and Miss Elizabeth, Randy Savage. I'm sure there's a joke here. I'm just not getting it. Uh, so if you're watching this, can you please just post it in the YouTube Hacksaw link? Hacksaw John, John Duggan. Um, is that Hacksaw Ridge? I, I don't know. <laughs> don't know if it's answered, but you get a tournament it point. It might be all um, something to do with oh, Pirate. Oh, you get a tournament is point. Is it Pirate? Hey, Damo, we missed out yeah. on tournament points. You get a tournament point for naming your character. Yep. Um, Should have <laughs> read the players sad. pack. Should have read the players pack. Uh, hey, I, I mean, like, uh, you're the... You're the meme, right? When it comes to Magro, like you should have read the players' pack. It's yeah, always up to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Just ha Hayden, read the players' pack. Stop asking me questions. We've got some ice right, we've got two here. Mournfang, two Mournfang packs. Said units are two. He hasn't upgraded them. He's got a unit of Yetis. That, that's oh, horrible, but on. I love it. Hold on, you got Crossbow's the... man trappers. That's um interesting it's not choice. Warcry, it's... Isn't the warband? Uh, what's that other one? Ah, uh, silver it's tower. A not silver tower. It's the same thing though. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a Beast Grave, maybe, but yeah, yeah, very yeah, cool. Yeah, Beast Grave, that's the one. Very cool. We've got Hunters of the Heartlands for those Ice Pool Yetis. What did they do again? Uh, weren't they really good for a bit there, and now they're just... No, uh, they've always been bloody terrible. The really? best part of it is they get a pile-in of six inches. That's it. Oh, they okay. might as well so get, a... though, and have, like, a six-plus armor save. They're shit. That's, oh, yeah, okay. I mean, with plus one now going up to five up with minus one to hit, you know, that's... Yeah, but, neat. like, let's just say, for example, you come across Bradley Baker... He's Ren 2 minimum. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know, uh, we got Brody Berger here from Western Warriors also bringing Ogamore tribes. I will say, uh, Brent, if you do it right, mate, I reckon 4 1. Otherwise, you're probably looking mid to low tables. So, like 2 3, 3 2. I'll see you there, buddy. I'm not so worry. sure about Ice Wall Yetis. Uh, 1 1 5. That's. But, yeah. No, definitely not. <laughs> no, no not for, me, for me, for me, for <laughs> uh, so, me. I'll, I'll rate that guy. Like, he's on the Chad meter. I mean, if you're willing to take. Two of the worst units in the book, which is the Yetis as well as the Mournfang, then you've got my heart. Um, so we've got uh, Mountain Breaker here, Ogre Maw Tribes, which is, uh, oh, sorry, Boulder Head again. Uh, we're not uh, the only one who missed out on tournament points. Suck shit, Brody. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't name his characters. <laughs> <laughs> um, you got Huskard on Thunder Tusk, Huskard on Thunder Tusk. Now. So he knows how I feel about Thunder Tusks. He's listening right now, I'm certain of it. They're terrible. They're a trap. I don't care if you've survived. I don't care if they've done you well. You've beaten the odds and beat the averages. Yeah, Carry yeah, on. yeah, yeah. All right. Well, uh, so we'll move on. Um, what does pulverizing Hellstorm do, do, by the way? What's that prayer do? You, you know. Yes, you'd say that, but I haven't played ogres in a while. Um, what I a... think it's D three mortal wounds. Uh, or it's a minus one to hit. I, I ha can't recall. I haven't seen... I'm waiting for the base king that comes with, like, 80, um, 80 snotlings. You know? <laughs> what do gorges do? Also, I haven't seen a gorger. What do gorges do? They drop behind the enemy lines and die the turn afterwards. Okay. So we've got 2,000 points right on the money. He's on the dot. He... Didn't pick a triumph. Like, why would you? He didn't pick. No, there's no point. I mean, he's 2k on the dot. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Um, um, if he does well, again, as per any Ogre player, 4 1, 3 2, 2 3. It depends on your opponents you come Oh across. my god, all the Western Warriors absolutely checking in. Loving to see it. We've got Chris Hallett here with our Blood Tooths. Um, and oh, we've got Mega Boss on Maw Crusher, Orc War Chanter, Kragnos. Um, yeah, the Kragnos gives him 3D6 charge. Absolutely amazing. I mean, it's. The problem being, it's 720 points of a character which can get mortal wounded to death. Even though it's got a 6 plus arm after save, it's not really going to save you. Yeah, the yeah. Ard Boys, you take units of 5, otherwise it's a waste of points because they do crap all. Um, he's got a unit of 6 Gore Grunters, which is awesome. Otherwise, a well-rounded list, I reckon, 3, 2, 4, 1. What are, what are we? We're like a 1, 2... Three drop here? Yeah. Oh, he hasn't written it down, yeah. Um, so what have we got? Battle Regiment, Command Entourage. I think it's a two drop. Yeah, uh, no, Command Entourage would have to be at least two. Because it has to be is at it? least... Yeah, yeah, oh, see yeah. those two, yeah. Oh, and Kragnos oh, is a... part of it as well. So it's a, it's a four... It's a three or four drop. Three, okay. drop, three or four drop. I mean, Artbook Boys are cool, right? They're, they're, like a, they're like a sort of off-meta pick, right? They've got their own... No, nah, not really. I mean, they were the go-to in the previous book because they just had... In a great wild list because they were just amazing. Okay. Um, they, they dropped off the amazing meter and went to subpar and everything else. There you go. So, I will, Brody's messaged me. He's he's backing up his Thunder Tusks. He thinks I'm a pleb. He's saying <laughs> they have Hailstorm, which is point... Pick a point, everything within three inches of that takes D3 mortals and a four plus. So it's but, a shit spell. It's cast on a, a seven, I'm guessing. And even then, you have to go above average and try and get the mortal. I just don't like it. Yeah, I'm just having a quick squeeze at the chat here because I've been so focused on point. <laughs> uh, Alexa, yes, Vamp List is actually based. Um, and I've seen it painted, it looks good. Uh, leaving list making too late. Oh, well, you know, I unlike some of us, you probably had a couple of days where you blissfully were ignorant i for myself i was sweating bullets like a week beforehand i'd written my list eight times uh you get a tournament point for uh, yeah i just 
I submitted my list in two weeks earlier. I've got no fucking excuse. I just didn't name them. <laughs> uh, one hour before cut-off, uh, you weren't feeling good. 1980 is the average of everyone's points, by the way. 1979.5 to be mm. exact. Ah, oh, very interesting. All right, so let's shift on. I think that you've got a good chance there, especially if, like, Kragnos gets in. But unfortunately... If Kragnos does his thing, gets all of his hits, all of his wounds, your opponent is sitting there rocking back and forth in the corner going, what have I just come mm. across? You go four one easy. I, Otherwise, you're probably looking mid range three two. I just I have no faith in Kragnos. Yeah, and, and we're and we're um we're sixty points down over the total points. So he will get his triumph inspired. I think that's reroll hits. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, let's shift on. Uh, we've got Christopher Moore here, uh, an, an independent contractor of sorts. We've got uh, Gotrex. I, I can't pronounce that. I've had too many drinks tonight to pronounce this. Uh, Ophidiophilia. Yeah. Ophidiophilia, which... Um, can someone please tell me what that is? I think Again, it's, I've missed the joke. I've, I've got this feel that it's six, sister love, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, I don't, you might be honest, I I don't speak uh, banjo in the South sort of language. So. <laughs> you, you don't speak Texas. <laughs> Kralbron is actually like not... I don't think that's the usual for Marathi in the bow snakes kind of, and we've got inspired. We've got Marathi Kane with Mind Razor, yep, and we've got Medusi Iron Scale with uh, Mistress of the, and yep, 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 and then we've got Go Track, which is four eighty five by the way. Uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty good. You got five Blood Sisters, five Blood Sisters, ten Blood Stalkers, which are going to do the shooting. So you're going to get like. Uh, you know, 40 shots in a turn, I think. They're two shots each. Um, and then you've got the heart renders, which are... Oh, they're the... Uh... I, I think I think the heart... No, no, no. The blood stalkers. No, no. Right. The the blood sisters are close combat. The, the stalkers, stalkers are the, are the shooty, shooty girls. Ones. And the heart, the heart renders, I think, are the infantry. I think they're the harpies that drop are in. They? Yeah, yeah, I believe so. I, I, I only... love how we're living up to our thing, where we have no idea what we're talking about. No, no, I swear, I've, <laughs> I've only done three uh, uh, sisters. I, I uh... haven't versed the single daughters of Cain yet outside of um, Bickford, and even then, that was a million years ago. You're a lucky man. Um, <laughs> we've got 1995 points, which means in those like tight matches that uh, that inspired's really going to come in clutch. We've got three out of six battle lines. Yep, yep, yep. Look, two drops. Two drops is probably going to outdrop your opponent. And uh, I think the idea is that uh, you teleport. Well, f from what I played last time, uh, they teleport the, the big Marathi near you and start ruining your day and then shoot is you. Is the big death. Marathi along with the stalkers? So they just sit there laughing as they shoot you off the table? or? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Like, yeah, okay. I, I mean... Uh, oh, this is the Gotrek one. Yeah, yeah, I'm this not is sure. the Gotrek. I, I, again, I think we mentioned this as we were starting yeah, or before yeah, we, we started were. i just don't know how the go trek will go because it's so many points to take away from more blood store I, I think um if i was running this right for me this is a great list to get into age of sigma with you know it's gonna go at least three and two on most uh, tables um you're not ever gonna really have a bad game because you know your big cool models like go trek and marathi they're gonna stay on the table for a while the blood stalkers are really nice models really good from like a hobby perspective like you can painting five blood sisters was like a wonderful experience um probably wouldn't paint you know 50 or 60 like i did last time but you know they're, they're all just wonderful models to paint and and this is like what you've got you've got uh 15 uh, 25 uh 26 27 28 models uh 28 models to paint and you've got an army um Wonderful. 28 models to paint, they look gorgeous, no matter how you do them, I mean, if you want to go bright pink, they look great, if you want to go dark and sinister, they look great, you have fuck all models, they perform so well on the table, there's just nothing you can, there's nothing bad you can say about I'm them, I guess. I'm going to say that all the players are going to be really up shit creek once they have to fill in those, you know, 400 points with something after they decide to... <laughs> after uh, Gotrek. Yeah, is. or if Gotrek <laughs> goes up to, like, 600 points. Uh, good luck, Chris, for more. I bet you that I'm uh, just gorgeous. A 3 2 four, one. I, uh, I just... I, I can't comment because, really, Gotrek. Uh, the Chad meter, not there. No, no. Unfortunately, that's it's just a part of, like, models that are absolutely going to stay on the table... You know, um, and there's nothing. I, I reckon if 
the uh, that new um, that new spell was out. That probably be in there too. Um, we've got someone from the Hawkesbury Gaming Club here, Connor. Arn. Yeah, Connor Ahern. Um, spoken to him quite a bit. Had some games against him. Amazing person. He, I have to say, he gets it's super inspired, like his triumph, and he'll paint an army in a month. So, yeah. oh well, shout I know. out to him. Although, disgusting. So there is no Oof. chat meter here. It's your basic yeah, um, yeah. go-to list. This is this is like um, a tea, but you didn't even leave the tea in. It's just <laughs> just water and milk. Like um, you know, plan on easy mode, uh, steadfast march, which is kind of neat. Um, Twenty free build co crossbowmen. I feel like that's going to be a little bit more fun than the usual raptors. But we've got storm drake guards, storm drake guard, fulminators, and um, Bastion, which is this we, we've already spoken about yeah, him. You've yeah. got Nitroconus, which is the character on the dragon. It, it's your typical go-to cities of Sigma stormcast list. All you want to do is just go dragons. And, so and there if, is I, no chat. if I sound a little little salty, that's because I am. Uh, it's really sad that they get to get the the cool uh, dragons, and they're good too. Because usually GW makes a model and it looks gorgeous, and it, it's shit on the table. So um, no, nah. but I think this is definitely a four-one list. Um, probably. Oh, definitely, it's four-one-five-zero. Oh, depending how you go, I mean, just doing hammers of Sigma. It just adds so much versatility, so many different options in the actual army. So I'm keen to see how it goes. I can't tell you what it does because I don't know. Um, like, it goes um, forward and ruins your day. Yeah, well, general. that's what the dragons do in the Fulminators. I mean, the Fulminators will sit there just chopping you up, uh, laughing uh, at your poor battle line along with Bastion Carthalos. But well, he also gets to redeploy units, which is just going to be like I, a... I don't, I'm just sitting here trying to think. I don't know what Thundershock is. I don't know what Thunderous Presence is. The whole I... line's pretty simple. I mean, the Fulminators and the Storm Drake Guard and everything here is is all pretty like pretty hey, pretty solid. Elden Ring. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, uh, <laughs> didn't make myself away. All right. Good luck to you, Connor. Uh, we've got yeah, good luck, man. Um, wish you all the best, man. You're an amazing player. I mean, you're just a great guy to verse. So, regardless of Chato meter tonight, you'll at least hopefully go in for best sport. Yeah, yeah. Lords of Ruin. Craig Anderson here. We've got some Osseo Bone Reapers. Um, and they've got Petrifex Elite, which is now reroll ones, I believe. Is it reroll ones to save? Is there a thing now? Uh, reroll ones one? to save. It's no longer plus one, I think. Okay. Which, I mean, I think is pretty good. We've got, oh, look at all these cool names. Um, no no Actually, doubt. I know who this is. He's the guy who always takes the Tomb Kings and um, remakes them into his. Uh, this Osseo Bone Reapers. Oh, well, that's He's definitely, definitely fun. plus one on the shadow meter. We've got a Mortrek Crawler here. Um, we've got uh, Spirit um, Morgas, which are really cool. The Harbingers are really good. Yeah, that's actually really cool to see, like, six Harbingers. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, Kanan's Reapers, which cost zero points. Nah, it'll be part of the HQ, so you got to just jump up. Oh, and see the there you go. I think it's Merkanane. Yeah, yeah, it costs 190 um and we've got a bone shaper this is like i guess this is be my to go to list um although leash cavalos is kind of different here right uh the guy on the horse i mean yeah. he's really good for his points value so i've seen him a lot but that's not saying much I, I think I think a lot of the troops in Petrofex are like just like they do the work. You don't really need to put a lot into them. They sort of they work on their own. If you can keep them in buff range, it's really cool. But yeah, it's. I mean, I think this is at least a three O list. Um, depending <laughs> Again, on Again, the same as the corn guys. As soon as he's done with three wins in the day, he's out. Yeah, uh, eleven <laughs> drops though is a bit wild. Eleven drops is is big. Yeah, well that's the thing, right? You've got to choose to get more artifacts to give you guys more jank to give them the upper hand over your opponent because Osiak have suffered quite a bit. I think I think so... this is a this is a big issue here where this one's going to suffer under the um, under the amount of raptors and 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 things that we're going to see. Uh, but being able to reroll armor saves in combat and stuff might help him against a lot of the fulminators. Yeah, maybe. Um, Chato Mita, he's definitely up there. I've seen his army. It looks great. The guy himself is awesome, so... Yeah. Um, we've Best got to you, man. Damien uh, Musi from Musi? Fellowship of Musi? the Dark. And we've got uh, Futhian uh, Ideneth Deepkin. Foythan. Foythan. Okay, yeah, right. Let me just butcher it. Uh, we've got Narkelian King. 
Um, well, I mean, they're actual elves and proper, unlike you, who's just a, a degenerate lives in Penrith. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got Akelian King, Eidolon. I think he's like a pretty standard pick now. Um, look at the Thralls, and then we've got three Alapexes. Three uh, individual Alapexes, so he hasn't uh, taken oh, them in the, um, the, uh, the cope. The, he's taken a turtle, and the, he didn't name it any of the... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What are you doing? Ah, uh, minus one on the. On <laughs> That's the minus chatter. one on the chatter meter. <laughs> um, this looks like one of those. I, I'm really because I haven't seen the Alapexes in like in game yet. I've seen a lot of the a lot of the like you know sort of amping them up now. Um, it's it's nice to see that people get to get their thralls out now, which is really cool. We've got flaming weapon on Eidolon. You know, this is, I think they're going to really, like, start to ruin someone's day in close combat. I think that there's going to be this sort of old feeling of, oh, it's just an Alapex, I can handle it. And then, you know, next thing you know, you're, like, dead. Um, yeah, you're just sitting there going, well, this sucks. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, <laughs> totally I've, underestimated I've made a again. grave mistake. A little <laughs> low on the ro the wounds for 1980, but... I, hope, I think uh, you'll see that a lot when it comes to Ideneth, because mostly it's eels. They're four wounds apiece, they're a million points apiece, the sharks are like seven... No, they're more now. Uh, the sharks are ten points? That's uh, ten wounds each, rather? Uh, yeah, it's just, it's low on wounds, they hit like a bloody freight train, I'm really keen to see it. So Again, any Ideneth player wins my heart, because I love my fish elves. Joel here is saying that uh, Eidolon and the Storm got nerfed big time in the new book, which is, um, I'm not super well, sure go. about it, it's just weird to see that uh, maybe people just had him painted up. And I mean, like... Joel Graham's one of the best players that I've ever seen, so I'm fucking taking his word for yeah, yeah. That's a uh, shame. I haven't. I, I bought the new book. I've got the army. I haven't even bothered to open up the book. Nor still, dust off the army. still in the cling film, mate. Um, no, it's assembled. It's just sitting there gathering more dust than what it had. <laughs> but um, I, I'd love to see this go three two. I don't know. Um. Yeah. I, I just think. I just think. Uh. The biggest part is like, sh sh shooting shooting stuff off like. Uh, do they still have the rule where you have to shoot the closest unit? You still have to shoot the closest unit, yeah. Okay, that might save some of the characters there, but I think that, like, probably the, the you know, the, the Alapexes are probably going to not see the light of day if the Thralls aren't there, or the Thralls aren't going to see the light of day because they're just going to get shot off. But, I mean, I'd trade the Thralls to have a turn to get into combat with that many Alapexes, so it's the right move there. Alright, we better move on. Uh, we've got Damien Newson. Ah, oh, uh, look at this. Nah, nah, nah. Let... Yeah, so this guy's got a <laughs> negative 100 on the chat. I mean, uh, have a look at this. We've got, uh, what does the Great Nation do? Oh, uh, it's Sire, so I really, it makes me feel bad. So it's yeah, not the should. best city at the moment because what you should do is take uh, Alumnia for the Alpha Strike. You should take uh, Zaytrek for the bonuses to cast, or even Helon for the Jank. Um, Sire is you give your general the uh, command trait Goading Arrogance. You sit in behind a bloody wall of wardens and laugh as your opponent's characters can't hit. It's oh, just it's okay. So, so they have to they have to attack him. They, they have attack. to attack the general. And you yeah. sit in like it's three within six inches. inches at the start of the combat phase. Oh, within six. Within six at the start of the combat. That's phase. a bit cheeky, isn't it? It's so fucked. I hate it as a thing, but oh. I mean, I have to somewhat stay alive, otherwise. Yeah, I just yeah. Fall apart. And you've got you've got a. Oh, so that's what the wind mage is. I see, because he can move around pretty quick as well. And then you've he got can, Severus. Yeah, so up. that's 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 two flying trolls, and then you've got Gotrek in there. I got Gotrek, yeah. Um, although... I've got a unit of 20 Wardens, I've got a unit of 10 Wardens, unit of 20 Sentinels with Lambent Lights, so re-rolls hits. Uh, um, Hurricane of the Storm, so another Fox, and they're all under a Battle Regiment, I'm a one-drop. Oh, you're just the yeah. worst. <laughs> it's a negative 69 on the chatter meter, I know. Oh, oof. I mean, and the, <laughs> and, and the 20 Sentinels. You know, uh, I remember watching you play and just watching the other opponent just go, oh, I'm over this. Um, you <laughs> well, know. it's the fucking foxes because Gotrek sits in an objective. The other foxes sit on another one. The rest of the army sits on the other one. And it's just your your opponent's going. Well, this fucking sucks. Uh, all right, can I can I get a not Chad in the chat for um, Damien here? <laughs> 
All right. Just give me a shout out of a boo. We've got Dave Kerr here with the Mango Mafia with a who knows what he's running list. Um, so we've got Stormcast Eternal, Hammers of Sigma, Lord Relictor. Oh, hey, look, we don't have um, the uh, the guy. You don't have Chad beat a lot. Yeah, yeah Chad... um, you've got a Relictor and a Draconis instead, which is um, the Draconis is pretty good, isn't he? It's the guy on Dragon. It's really amazing. But uh... I'm just where is his other? Oh, it is Storm Drake Guard. They're in other. Okay, he's got I have Vindicator Battle Lion, which is okay. So this what is just is he got? He's got uh, Hammers of Sigma, so Stormkeep. He's got. I think they count as. I think they count as three each on an objective. So that's what his vindicators are doing. So they're just they're just going to drop down on, on objectives and hold. Well, them they're down. just going to move up on the objective. You'd leave them off. What you'd leave off is the uh, long strike crossbows. Yeah, yeah. The the long strikes are, are going to be. Um, that's going to suck. Um, as yeah. I Look, think... um, the same again. Basic stormcast pick. I would have loved to see something different, but I mean, why I mean, would you when dragons are great? I mean, like how many how many war scrolls have they got? Uh, they have the most in any book, and it's ridiculous. I'm what, not going to say what happened to the what, what happened the, to the chocobos? Right, I've not seen someone <laughs> run the chocobo list. I um, love the chocobos, and I want to do it at some point. But four we'll storm drake guard, so. and and then we've got the six vanguard raptors there. You know, so they're just going to be dropping down, holding objectives. Uh, and, and really hoping the vindicators to... hold the long strike shoot the storm drake murder whatever flank they hit or even if the middle if they go straight for the head of the snake and take it off it, and it, yeah and it's just... a one drop as well so like it's it's going to be one of those things where you're just gonna have to accept that they're gonna take the take the mm -hmm. board presence and then you're going to have to win this fight with the Storm Drake Guard, which is going to be difficult, and then somehow survive the second turn of shooting with Raptors, unless you got some neat tricks up your sleeve. Um, uh, I think Again, once... David Kerr's an amazing player. He's going to go probably 4-1 minimum, but in the chatter meter, it's down to bottom. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's unfortunately uninspired, but I mean, I get it. If you're winning, you know, not everyone came to to be based kings. Some people came to win, um, and I oh, fucking didn't come to be based king. <laughs> I'm down the bottom with the rest of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, we got David Hurley from Chaos. Chaos. I think that's Canberra AOS. Now I'd love to be corrected because I asked this question before and I didn't get an answer. It was like a week ago now. All right, so we've got... It's, again, the same thing. Storm Drake Guard, that's the Dragons. Uh, Knight Draconis, Dragon Leader, Dragon Leader, Uninspired. Uh, Chatter Meter is zero. <laughs> or even in the negatives. Poor, the, the, uh, poor, the, drop. The, the poor the poor Stormcast players <laughs> this time. I mean, like, they're going to do very well. Um, I think that the mirror matches are definitely going to be a humbling moment, um, you know, where, where there's going to be some salt. Um Double battle. I just regiment. I want all of the Storm Drake guard players to verse each other first round, and the winner from it's gonna, that round the, gets to move on. <laughs> the, it, the, it, welcome to the crucible of cringe. <laughs> um, you know, you're probably going to get that triumph with 1960. Um, he did something different, which I just actually figured out. Two nights. Is um this guy doesn't have long strikes, so uh, he's earned a plus one in the chatter meter, yeah, so he's yeah, up this... to one. Actually, actually, slightly, he, this man just was like, hey, I just want dragons. I just and, fucking love dragons. Let's just go ham. Yeah. Look, I, I guess I guess I'm feeling like a little bit uh, salty because they are really nice models and they also do well. But, um, you know, they're just, they're nice models. They play well. They're really having their day in the sun. I'm not going to give you a medal, but I think that, you know, plus one for those people um I hope that, you know, when they eventually go up, you still try and get as many dragons in your list and you don't just shift to something, you know, because that's what we want to see. We want to see people putting things on the table that they're proud of putting on the table. And uh, that's what, you know, uh, if you if you have joy when you place those models on the table, it doesn't matter what happens after then, you know. Um, although everyone yeah, would prefer sure. to win. No one comes to games to lose. All right. No, that's right. They just want to roll dice with mates, you know, whatever yeah, else. Yeah. But also getting destroyed is not a great... No one pays 65 bucks enough. or whatever it is to... to no, to lose. get raped the whole weekend. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Elliot, really nice guy. I think this is the... Um, From Beast Gaming? Eidneth Beast Deacon? of Chaos. The, the hype Beast, I think, is what um, his mates refer to him as. And there's a reason why. It's because he's so full of beans. He's just yeah. a fun guy to verse. We've got uh, Nautila, which I don't know what does. Man, you should have opened that book. 
Um, I just, yeah, give me win. five, I'm going downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grabbing the book, I just don't know. Uh, we've got Thralls. And Eyes of the Hunt, which I assume is the Warband. You've got Reavers. I always love to see the Warband because they always do something funky. I think that there's extra, like... There's usually, a, like, an extra step in remembering because they've got their own rules as well. Um, Navadi Re... And, and I love the name here. Ivory Moor under Commander Maha. Um, I don't know whatever... Oh, it, it's just a Levadon. It's very sick. I love the Levadon. Um... 500 points. I think it's still a little pricey for Levitons. I know they're very good, but we got uh, Knights of the Blood Surf Heart, which are Alapexes, and another Blood Surf Hunt, which are another two Alapexes. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is this is a one-drop. It's very cool. Um, none of that pick uh, with the, the Tidebringer that we talked before. So, yeah, I think, I think this is definitely the... I guess it's hard because I just really haven't seen them on the table to to know whether or not this is doing well. I think that this is definitely going to be a beautiful army to see on the table. I think that Ideneth have that like wow factor when you put them on the table um, just because they're sort of, they're almost alien. Um, we've got a, a soul render and, and all that. Uh, Damien will get back and tell us what Nautilar does. But as a general rule, I think this is really cool. I definitely see this going three and two. All right, I'm back. What does Nautilar do before we move on? I didn't even pull it out of the G-Dub bag of order from. It was just chilling. I hear your JD cans rolling around the back. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I think this is definitely a three and two list. Um, I'm, I'm really sad that I'm going to be the twos. Everyone's, everyone's three and twos that I'm giving, I'm probably going to be the two. Um, uh, although it's nice to see that there's not a lot of shooting. Realistically, apart from Storm uh, Drake Guard, there's really not that, like, oh, sorry, Stormcast Eternals and some bits and bobs. There's not as much shooting, especially now that there's only two Seraphon players and me being one of them. I've only got, like, the Stegadon that does shooting really. So, you know... Uh, You'd hear the unwrapping of the book. Yeah, we'll move on to the next one, but I'll still get you out of I'll let you know what Nautilar does. Nautilar does. Let's see if some secret spice. Uh, we've got G Chen, um, and we've got Legion of the First Prince here. Uh, Beastmaster, we've got Bellacor, wonderful. Oh, wow, okay, here we go. We've got okay. Bellacor yep. and Kairos Fateweaver in the same You've list. You've got Contorted Epitome and Bloodthirster, so that is all the four gods. This is kind of cool. I mean, I don't even know if this is good. He's got Emerald Life Swarm to keep some of those guys alive, an Umbral Spell Portal to get some of those cheeky spells nice and close. You know, he's got his minimum battle line. This is a bit of a chat list. I've got to say, I mean, I don't know if it's good. No, they are the top of the list. You reckon? Legion of the First Prince. Yeah, they're, they're meta as hell. Oh, they're you so reckon? amazing. Yeah. Oh, and okay. I just... Then... I have a particular sore spot when it comes to Kairos because it changes your damn dice. Do they get Fate Dice as Legion of the First Prince? Uh, I don't think you get Fate Dice, but what you do get is the chance to... Well, not chance, but you get the ability to change one of your opponent's dice rolls per game. Okay. Per game. Uh, uh, Nautilus. So... Do, 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 do. It's, uh, it helps Leviathons. It changes yeah. their Ren characteristic of the Scythe Thins and Crushing Jaws to Ren 3. Oof. So the turtle is a chompy chompy boy. Holy shit, <laughs> Ren 3. Uh, looks at these legends, yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely sick. I mean, I think this is going to, this would be a fun, like, hobby project. And if this goes well, like, it's a, it's a good, that's another one of those lists that's like, Hey, I want to get into Age of Sigma and just like look I at this. Well, no, not at all, because I believe you still need to paint up a summoning army to go with it. Oh, uh, okay, maybe. Um, all right, I, I think this is. I think this is like you, you're hoping for three, two, maybe four, one, depending on how good these individual monsters are. I, I feel like. Yeah, I feel just what like... Magro says. I've got a few um, LOTFP, which is the army, the Legion of the First Prince, videos. If you need to check out the good stuff, like. Magro will know <laughs> this yeah, guy yeah. is going to go good because these guys are they're they're fucked. Ah, well, I should I I should have got you to join us, AOS coach. Um, we just jumped in uh, my Discord because I didn't really have permissions, and I you know 
I don't oh, there you go. Mike's battle line as well. I didn't read that part. I just read the bit, which I saw ran three, and I was like, <gasps> yikes. Yikes. <laughs> All right. Well, I think this is a really cool list. I mean, big monsters uh, based. Uh, sick. So uh, I, on the chatter meter, I'd probably go, you know, negatives or zero again. Oof. Let's just, um, uh, yeah, what, this... like, it's going to go four, one, three, two, better than that. It's just, it's ridiculous. I hate him. Uh, uh, Je Je Jeff, Jeff Nicholson. Nicholson. Yeah, we've got uh, Take a Tribe for Sons of Behavior, which I don't think is the meta. Um, which is, uh, you know, a bit, it's a bit interesting. We got, uh, Randall, the Kraken Eater. Uh, we got Fidget, the War Stomper, and Stutter, the Gatebreaker. Um, we've got two Man Crusher Gargants with their own Og, cool Wally name. and Vermin. <laughs> yeah, uh, we've got Bosses of the Stump and the Foot Sloggers, Unified. I, I get what he was doing here. Uh, six drops, very cool. Definitely a four in one army uh, is is definitely possible here, um, you know, with a little bit of swinginess and like um, some luck. Definitely a four one, uh, especially depending on on what to, uh, on what list like up to date. I don't think we've given anyone anything less than a three two. Like we just got to start slamming on the. Oh uh, no no, we're gonna hit my list soon. Don't you worry. <laughs> um, I, I th well, I mean, I don't think. You know, it's. I mean, tell someone they're going to go zero five, and then they're going to just win the whole event. Cause, so I'm not really giving out those. That's fair. Um, and so we've got Gleason Tyson. We've got another. Uh, oh, okay. No, I can't see that. So here we go. Uh, we are running another Iron Death Deep King. All right. Iron Rack. What's the Gleaming Gloom Tide? I assume this is like a, a faction strategy. You're gonna make me read the book, aren't you? I'm just have a, uh, we got. Yeah, oh, there this, I have to read this thing. Oh, here we go. We got some eels back. Um, it's nice to see some eels. Uh, you know, sort of. Uh, I don't know if they're as good as they were. Uh, maybe a little overcosted, and uh, he's got. It looks like he's got a reinforced unit there. You can't really see with how this has been uh, set up. Uh, it looks like it's a one drop. Yep. Uh, so Archelian King, Eidolon again. Um, what grand strategy Lotan. is it? Uh, Creeping Gloom Tide? Yep. All right, so Battle Ends, you complete the grand strat if there are any Gloom Tide shipwrecks on the, uh, in your army on the battlefield and all of them are more than three from enemy units. That oh. is a very iffy grand yeah, strat. Yeah, I probably wouldn't take that. That's a little bit... You know, that's a bit how you're going, especially I mean, now that there's, there's a so... good chance that you get wiped off the table. You got one guy sitting next to a gloom tide shipwreck just going, Yay! and uh, he makes you lose those three grand points. I mean, or you could just destroy it, right? With uh, oh, with if you got a monster, monster, yeah, yeah, yeah. And most lists are running monsters, so that's a little bit, yeah, a little bit spicy. What's the iron rack do as well? Seeing as we're like delving into <laughs> if we check the book again, I just put it down. <laughs> Pretty sure it's something about defending boats. Thanks, coach. Oh, there you go. <laughs> he, I just got to read the chat instead. Yeah, of the yeah, yeah. Look, they're quicker than I am. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean... All right, so... Um, army rules, enclaves, iron rack. Uh, it's to do with our Kellyan units, so correct me if I'm wrong, but that's pretty much... Alapexes, the Morsar Guard, yeah, and... Yeah, it's pretty much all. Yeah, of it. they they change the flow of the tides. Okay, cool. Um, Did he take the trait that gives him a second boat? Good question. Uh, Steve. Uh, uh, I don't, don't think know. so. But it's a one drop, and you've got those um, you got those alapexes. I think they're going to be like a big unit to see how they perform. But the alapexes and the Morsa guard um, is like that's. It's a lot. He's dropped some of the characters they usually pick up. Um, oh, he's got an aspect of the sea, so he's done something different to the other guys. Yeah, yeah. Well, it'll be like uh, uh, that's seven hundred points in the uh, the Alapexes and the Norsai Guard, and then we've got another two hundred <laughs> points in the Thralls. I, I will, Joel. Don't you worry. Any health, any Ardenf questions, or you, mate? Yeah, man. I mean, uh, I just nine ninety five out of 2000 you know, sometimes i look at the the points values and i'm like man there's like 325 250 there's 500 
Like I do the oh, math. So many distant characters, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and but it's just, two of them. it just looks like everything here is expensive. Like the thralls are one thirty. I the feel like that's that. the way Ideneth have gone. Everything's gone up a ten percent tax minimum. I but just there's a reason for it. They're good. I, I'm you know it's not like I run a business or anything, but from here I'm just like looking at the numbers. I'm like, do they add up? I just I love reading the chat. I'm reading it now. Um. Goating fate, who I'm not sure who that is, is like, don't ask Joel anything. You would just get inspired. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I just sometimes I look at this and I look at all these numbers and I'm like, I'm going to have to math this later because I feel like that's more than. Uh, two. No, that's just because two plus two to you equals seven and you're like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm, just, I'm just absolutely brain. <laughs> you're just illiterate. Um, I um, think. All right, I but I reckon it's going to go three, two. Yeah, at it's, worst, like better than that at best. So we've got some more boulder head here with Ogre Moor tribes. Let's see if it's got any spice. So Hayden Rosewall. Um, I've not met Hayden before. We've got Stonehorn with Metal Crusher. Boulder head, pretty stock standard. Yeah, yeah, yep. Mornfang. 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 He's gone the oh, Mornfang pack. Oh, hold, no, no, oh, hold on. with six yetis. Absolutely based six yetis. Love it. And uh, what have we got? We've got uh, eight. 12 Mornfang. Um, some does do you get Yetis in the battalion box to start collecting? No, but it, what it looks like here, it looks like a couple of start collecting boxes. And, and um, yetis. yeah, pretty much he's bought three start collecting boxes and bought two boxes of Yetis. So he spent, I don't know, 700 bucks and he has an entire army. So good on him. Yeah, like a lot of fun. Another great army. I think this might be one of the ones that starts to go two and three just because those Mornfang, unfortunately i mean there, there's a lot of meat here but there's a lot of meat and he's gone with the culling clubs and um or prey hackers of iron fists so basically he rolls an armor save roll of a six you take a mortal wound in return and um it just goes from there okay. so it'll be interesting to see so you really want them sitting in combat um i, I still don't really trust the Mornfang to to do as well as they they need to do for the points they cost on the on the page they look great then you use them and you're left wondering why did i just lose everything okay. in one turn here we go here's me um so i'm running seraphon uh running thunder lizard i want to run codal's claw uh, unfortunately just codal's claw is garbage at the moment there's nothing you can do uh in codal's claw that you couldn't just do from the ghb uh, they get plus one when they charge and that's it Oh, and you get command points back if your Saurus, like, commands another Saurus to do something. But now that you can't spam command points, it's not really worth it. So Sunder Lizard, just to keep some stuff alive. And really, the what I wanted in this list was just to get everything that I thought was cool in the list. So we've got a Star Priest, Panda Glory, with a Carnosaur. Um, it's got the Faction Artifact, because it doesn't have a shooting attack, so now it's got a Plasma Pistol, so that's pretty cool. I got Starseer, which should have Ghost Mist. I'm not quite sure what happened there, um, but that's its its spell. Uh, and we've got Engine of Gods with Curse, which isn't that great. I probably should have gone with Heal, but here we are, because I don't have like a mass attacks here. We've got Stegadon and Skink Chief, which is just busted at the moment. 305 points. He's got Prime War Base, so he's, he's getting plus one attacks to his um to his Stegadon's attacks. And uh, he's got the Cloak of Feathers, which gives him plus uh, four inches fly and minus one to be hit with attacks. Just there's no reason you wouldn't take that. Uh, we've got Slain Star Master with a spell Celestial Equilibrium, which just gives your other skinks uh, plus one to cast. And sort of the spice here comes with the, uh, the Skink Star Seer. He's got an ability that allows one unit to charge 3d6, and his spell can increase your save by one to the next hero phase, or reduce enemy enemies' save by minus one until the next hero phase, which is big, seeing as a lot of stuff in Seraphon has only rend one. Um, we've got Saurus Guard, we've got two units of Skinks, uh, we've got uh, Saurus Knights, and then we've got... Um, it just says Croxagor. There's six Croxagor there, which is what I'm really excited to play. Um, their DPS is supposed to be the same as Salamanders, but, you know, we'll see how they go. Uh, they're just a big wall of flesh. Um, and that's sort of it. Uh, you know, we've got a Battle Regiment, Hunters of the Heartland, and Warlord. I think I'm, like, eight drops or something. I'd have to double-check. It didn't... Uh, I did this in the app, so it didn't tell me how many drops, but... Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not super high. I just want to put things As in if you list. didn't just go to the website copy and paste everything, send yourself an email, and then 
you know, whatever, on your phone. Yeah, yeah, I'm a bad <laughs> man. But, you know, generally just getting minus one damage and, you know, hopefully getting some summons off. I think uh, the big I, thing... I really hope beyond this. I mean, Chatter Meter, you're probably like a zero because I know you said there's some hidden jank here. No, <laughs> I, I, think, I think I'd like to sit at least... A, I'm not based... I think the, the Croxagors are a bit Chad. And I, uh, I will say, though, beforehand, the guy who, the guy who's just running Mournfang and just running the Yetis, I think he's a top contender for based. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, absolutely. This list... <laughs> You're banned. <laughs> Sorry, Well, Hayden. actually, funny thing, because uh, Magra had to check with me because uh, the Battle Regiment, um, you can put the Engine of the Gods into the uh, artillery slot, even though it's a hero. So it's part of the one drop. So I had um, the Steg in the leader role and then the Engine of the Gods in the artillery role. And we had a little back and forth there, but it is a legal move. But yeah, it's the only thing in the Seraphon book that has um, that has artillery. So a little bit of hidden tech there. Not that I'm really enough drops for it to matter, but yeah, not, not a lot really going on there. I'd like to say that there's some secret you, you, spice. You're probably but... going to go two, three, three, two. I, I can't yeah, see much. It's, it's, it. You just you go and random stuff that seems to work good on paper, but I think in reality it's just crap. It, it's just going to depend whether I screen well enough and and how many uh, how many uh, shooting sigma lists I go up against. Anyways, it's enough <laughs> all of, of them. All, all of five them. games stormcast. Yeah, I'm um, just Brent Koppel. Why the Mornfang hate? I've used Beast Claw Raiders since forever and a day. One thing have always been awesome to me. They, I just love them to death. They're bad. Um, MP. The lists are available to public. Yeah, yeah. These are um, in the BCP. Oh no, I think you have to be registered to the event. I, I believe, I'm not super yeah. sure. Um, uh, we've got Jacob Mears next, so we'll just go have another a... one from More Tribes. That's two of them so far. Yeah, yeah. I've... More Tribes, and we've got another Blades of Corn, uh, Scarbrand. Pretty cool. Bloodthirster, uh, Bloodthirster, 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 uh, Slaves Blood of the Dark. Bloodsecrator? I don't know. Yeah, he didn't name his Demon Prince. Oh. His... Bow, bow. <laughs> she oh. didn't name any of them. Blood Reavers, Blood Reavers, Centigors. What the fuck huh. is a Centigor? I don't even know uh, what a Centigor those is. Those are the old, like, um, the Beasts of Chaos. Just, um, I, I, I haven't seen them, like, in a million years. Like, I, I'm keen to see what they can do. I mean, I think that there's, like, a plus, like, 10 for your shadow meter for taking. <laughs> like, this is definitely uh, a positive two wins, maybe a three, two, I don't know. Maybe there's some secret spice here with the Centigors. I just, you know, I think that's really cool. We've got a Warlord and a Battle Regiment. Uh, we don't really get told what the extra thing is. I assume it's an extra artifact. Yeah. An extra artifact which is cool um i couldn't tell you what any of it does outside of the insensate rage and scar brand which is sit there and go it's, well you're dead now it's just if I'm, they roll well i'm f fishing for sixes you really don't want to get in combat with this unless you're like on the on the on the uh, like the swing you know you really don't want to be taking that back swing here um so i think i think the big issue for uh, these sorts of lists is a screening at the moment because they really want to get in there but by the time they've charged they've hit your screens and you usually get to come back into them so um, that's probably where they get let down I can I don't know if six Raptors uh, well let's assume 12 Raptors because I get the double shoot I don't know if 12 Raptors can take out Scarbrand in a turn 100% they can yeah you reckon so that's going to yeah, be can. rough um, don't... Corn don't really have any innate ward saves I think they're gonna. I think they suffer from a bit of low uh, armor saves as well. Um, so I think that's gonna yeah, be really four rough. Ups. I think Scarbrand has a three, maybe a four. I, I don't know. Please correct me. Um, so we've got. Uh, I think. I think that's you know Chad list for taking. I love to see uh, Bloodthirsters on the table. I just don't think that they're in a spot. I think they could do with a price increase and to do better on the table, and maybe see less of them on the table. Um, but yeah, we've got yeah, but Beats of Chaos in their own book is filth tier. In another book, I'm interested to see how it goes, Joel. Um, we've got anyway, let's, um, Jacob to... Strahan from Jacob Thunder Strahan. Down. Thunder Strahan. Down Hunter with... Oh, here we go. This list name is Maitland GT. Did uh, you play think... against this <laughs> I one? I think I know where he's entered it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, 
So, did you play against this one? Did you get the... No, I didn't play much? against this one. Um, I walked past him playing. He was, I think, filming as well as he was going along. And he basically said at the start of each game, I know my list is filthy. I don't have fun playing it or something along those lines. So, yeah, just... It's your typical list. You run your foxes, you run your sentinels, you run wardens in minimum units. It's... Yeah, yeah meter, the wa- minus a hundred. No originality. Let's move. Oof, on. oof, oof. Oh, we got Emerald Life Swarm there too. Bring yeah, back but that's some sixty center. points because he probably had points left over. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What does Solar Flare do, by the way? Um, <laughs> it hurts wizards. Okay, and fucks your wizards. So this guy yeah. is gonna. Just, I guess the big thing is, can you? I mean, off oh, forty sentinels. Forty sentinels. You know, um, 510 points for 30. You know, I, to be honest, like, no cap. If I was running a Stormcast list, I'd probably just shoot the Sentinels. Uh, the minus one to hit, then again, plus ones, so threes to hit, twos to wound. Yeah, I'd probably shoot the Sentinels too. It's like, I mean, it's just reducing that. That's, that's where all the damage is here. Um, they got protection of Hish. And total eclipse. Do they all get power of hish as well? Is that just what you get? It's based? power is power of hish in addition to an additional spell. It's just, it's just wild. Um, and with Zaytrek, they get a third spell, which is overwhelming heat. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Mm-hmm, okay, good. Um, no, no Chad rating, but um, I definitely see that as a three and two. It's, it's three, two, four, one. If he gets um, really good opponents, then he's five zero, and he's on his way home to yeah, yeah being yeah. a bad man. Uh, we've got James Landis. I think uh, we skip past. No, no, Jake, Jake Doherty. Doherty. Yeah, Jake Doherty. Here we go. We don't want to miss anyone. I, I, I'm just going to be honest. I think this tournament. I don't want to be in the top tables because it's just going to be Luminaire and and uh, Fulminators and Stormcast Eternals. And it's, I think the games are going to go quick, especially when it gets to the top tables. I think that you're just going to see a lot of Alpha Striking and a lot of just maybe whiffing save rolls and then you're done or whiffing um, your your original Alpha Strike and then you may as well just scoop it up. Which Brent, you know, if you do that, I will versus you i will call you out if you're going to run 12 mourn fang and we can throw hands we will do this the old-fashioned way a 12 mourn fang 12 now 12 mourn fang is actually like a big dick energy i don't care <laughs> like girthy girth all the way 100 percent girth you know no ky <laughs> just, all, just all girth nothing else yeah that's it <laughs> Like like a mushroom, mate. All right, here we go. Um, we've got Soul Black Grey Wars, Castellai Dynasty, which seems to be sort of the meta here. Uh, we've got Manfred von Karstein, which is pretty sick. We've got Prince Vordrive, Vangorian Lord. These seem like the the go to leaders. Uh, we've got another another fifteen Blood Knights, another ten Direwolves. Although this guy has gone Felbats, which is interesting. I wonder, I wonder if. The Felbats are the old ones, or if, did they get a new print of Felbats? Because if I remember, the old ones look like those Halloween, like, bats that you get on, like, the rubber rope. Like, they're just, you know, just, <laughs> like, oh, you 3D print them, you know. But, yeah, that's so they're, they're just chaff. Same with the Direwolves. And you got the Blood Knights in Hunters of the Heartland. You know, I don't know if the Blood Knights do enough. I know that they're good. I just don't know if they do enough damage to keep up. And I they don't, do a lot on the charge. I just don't know if if these kind of lists can compete with something like Drac- Dracolith Knights or with the amount of shooting that they're going to receive at the start of the game. Because taking off a Vangorian Lord or Manfred or something at the start of the game. Unless there's some secret source here I don't know about. I think as a general rule, it's just going to be turn one, take your pretty HQ off the board that I don't like, and then you've got to come to me, you know, which I, I think is a big issue. I mean, I, I've, I've, I've been saying that in my experience that shooting should be a niche in, in Age of Sigma, maybe just for KO or something like that. Um, I, I, I don't know. You, you nuke a lot of armies with that, but yeah, yeah. Um, well, look, three, two. Yeah, I, I think this. Yeah, might... it's it's an average list. Like, there's nothing really that calls out wrong with it. I'm if this sure is painted really in. nice, I I give it probably um, a mid Chad 
like mid moist on the chatter meter like <laughs> this definitely if the fell bats are like some 3d printed or like some or the OG I mean, ones. if he's gone and gotten the old metal or fine cast ones and made them look great, that's even better. Yeah, I mean, good luck. I just, I don't trust... Uh, yeah, good luck, Jake. Next yeah, up, James, James Landis. Landis. Uh, Stormcast. Um, Ooh. Stormcast, Stormcast. Hallowed Knights, Hammers of Sigma. Next okay. Oh, here we go. Lord Relictor. Named him. Yeah, Knight in Cantor. Uh, Garda, Steel Soul. And you, you he's Drasta. gone in Drasta. She's a beautiful model. By she's the way. fucking gorgeous, and I'm terrified to verse her. <laughs> you know, as a side note, I don't know if I'm getting this wrong. I know he's got the Raptors, but you know, three prosecutors, three say, prosecutors. Kind of, this kinda guy charm. has actually done something different, and yeah. I will say, thank you, yeah. you, my good sir. I think James Landis. You yeah. earn a, a point on the chatter meter, so yeah, you're like absolutely. a quarter way up. Yeah, yeah, like a mat, abs, based as far as the, um, I mean, in the one in the land of the blind, the one eyed man is king. But um, <laughs> you know, those Vanguard Raptors, you know, if they if they didn't make the list, I mean, I'd I'd probably prefer Dracolith over Vanguard Rap Raptors, but that's I just a personal Now, choice. the dragons, I think, are heavily overrated. That's my personal opinion, though. I just think that that last time we saw them, they weren't using their monster abilities, and that was rough, you know? That, like, really yeah, you, you got to remember your monster abilities. you got to remember everything else. It's just, it's a lot to remember on top of a new army that you're trying to remember. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, uh, <laughs> done next tournament. Bring it, look at yeah, you, no, make no, a no, Bradford. First thing to go. Yeah, go. Uh, we've got 11 drops here, which is probably going to be rough. Um, you know, maybe... I think this will lose out to some of those really aggressive orc lists, maybe. Hey, Brent, catch me at Sydney GT. I'll buy you a beer. Yeah, yeah I love your sure. attitude, man. Yeah, all right. So, um, I mean, it's a Stormcast army. I'm sure it'll do well. Um, I'm liking the heroes that are here. There's a little bit he's, of He's done something spies. different. He's named his characters. He actually cares about the army he's running, which is nice. Yeah, maybe maybe I'm missing something, but you know, ten vindicators, ten liberators. I don't and... know what Hallowed Knights does. So I think it's the drop in mortal wounds one. I, I can't recall. So uh, we got Jared Baker from Brawl with some more uh, Stormcast Eternals. I mean, on the plus side, Stormcast haven't been super amazing for a while, and a lot of people are brushing off their collections. But um, I think that when you see a list like this with fourteen. Maybe that there's there's an issue, right? Um, a Raptors uh, no, kind of because they've always been a part of the main boxes, so you'll always see yeah, like but... the Stormcast King. Where's the Nurgle and the Nighthorn? Because they were like part I'm of the I'm surprised boxes. I haven't seen too many Nurgle so far, but let's keep going. Yeah, we got Hammers of Sigma. Yep. Um, Lord Relictor, Knight Draconis. Oh, five liter. Oh, hello. We got liberators. Liberators, liberators. Oh, here we because go. They count as three oh. on the objective. Then he's he's gone and fucked it. You almost <laughs> had us putting you on the shadow meter, and you did it. You fucking disappointed me. <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, "Hey, here we go." No, I think this is definitely going to do well. I think there's going to be like this this cauldron of the high tier tables. Um, you know, uh, it's you know maybe I'm overrating the Storm Drake Guard. Um, you definitely probably could have changed these Liberators out, maybe, for Fulminators, I believe, but I'm not super sure, don't quote me on that, if you want to go full cheese. So, you know, props to you, 1950, one drop. Um, I think this is definitely a three and two list at the very least. Um, no, at the very least, for sure. Yeah, it's yeah. just, it's always the shooting, always the dragons. I, I, th I think the issue is that they're also, you know, they're also off the board right there's there's nearly nothing you can do against this um which is which is sort of not interactive right i think that's a big part of it anyways moving on hey dark obliterator we're ignoring the fact that naming characters gives you an extra point because we completely forgot when we submitted our lists so we're for at the moment considering it that you love the army <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to we used to think that uh, that was just because you're a cool guy, but I see how these <laughs> we, got, the, we got called out. <laughs> now, now the whack players are just naming their characters. Hey, uh, I think you've gone back up, haven't you? 
No, we did Jared Breaker from Brawl, and now we we've got Jared oh. Musi from Fellowship of Dice with here. Is um, that a brother of another guy partaking? Maybe. Oh, wow, the brother. Daughters of Ragnarok, cool name. Um, Calibron, Gur, uh, Alv, Hypress, Bloodrack, Medusa. That's kind of cool to see. Um, Killy McGee, all of the lists can go 3 2 if you play it well. I don't care about anyone else. This is like our personal thoughts on how well the army can go if you perform your best. Yeah, I, def I definitely think like. This oh, is like an open field. There could be like 65,000 players in this tournament, and we're probably going to say all 65,000 can go 3 2 minimum if they do it well. I mean, if, if a lot of the lists, like 14 of the lists, are. Uh... Uh, Stormcast Eternals and all of all of those dark Stormcast Eternals, if they're running even slightly meta, should go th three and two at the very least. Uh, a lot of these order lists are pretty powerful at the moment, um, and then the rest have opportunities. I mean, what have we been through? Stormcast, Sons of Bahamut. We haven't been through many at all. Like, right. there's been about five or six different armies. Yeah, there's there's really. I mean, we've, look, we've got uh, Marathi and the Bow Snakes. Here we are. Canine Shadow Stalkers, that's kind of nine, nine of them. Life Takers, hold on. We got uh, Blood Sisters, you have to make me Witch this, Elves, I have no idea what those Blood are. Stalkers. No, okay, so we, we've got the Blood Stalkers here, which are the shooting. It's just he spiced it up here with some Witch Elves instead of Blood Sisters, and then we've got some more Life Takers and Shadow Stalkers here. Um, and you've got the Blood Rack Viper and Cogs, which is like, okay, yeah. A little bit, a little bit of chat energy here for um, for this. I, I wonder what you're gonna miss out adding these extra bits and bobs. Um, well, it like, depends on your list, Killy. I mean, like you could blow me away and have like sixty or uh, I not storm vermin. The the ones that are bigger than that with the flamethrower hands and the make you feels bad, and I'll be like, hey. He's going to go 4 1 and his opponents are going to feel like shit. I, I think. It all depends. I think this, as far as what he could have taken, or, yeah, he, yeah, uh, or they could have taken, uh, is, is probably like a little bit like off the meta, and I really like, like to see it. I hope it does I work. Don't, you're right. I don't know what this is going to do, and I'm interested to see it. So I'm not going to comment about how well it's going to do because I don't know. I, I think this is a, a 4 1. You, think, think, a, you yeah, think their um, opponents, like us, are going to be like, <laughs> this looks easy and get destroyed. Maybe, I, I can see that. Maybe. I, I think it just depends on, like, when you start getting, once you start getting past 3-2, I start thinking about their ability to survive the the shooting. And, and definitely Marathi is going to be one of those units where... Only 88 wounds, though. But then again, that could be roughly the average of how many wounds a daughter's army has. But I will say, I mean, it looks like he's taken a relatively off metal list, so he's at least half a Chad made off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, 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 yeah, a bit, bit of a king. Like to see it. Like to see something different, you know? All right. So we've got Jason Wood from Chaos. Uh, Legion of First Prince. Here we go. Ooh, ooh. Here's another one. Yeah, here we go. Uh, seeing a lot of this, actually, I think just um, we were bloodthirster, bloodthirster, epitome, um, Bellacore. Bellacore, demon prince. It's almost the same, except Ten? the battle line's different. One oh, burning and he's different units as well. Furies. Hey, this is kind of cool. I hope this is some spice that I don't like. That oh, I'm... dude, I, I, Legion of the First Prince could be like one of a million things. I, I think. I think, I think this is cool. Really solid. I think this is cool. I mean, anything that it's has... It's a full one list, for sure. Because the, the Plague Bearers mm. are a new army. So, I... oh, sorry, they're a part of a new army. So they have an amazing War Scroll to go along and complement the rest of the army, which should do really well. So I reckon 4-1. I, I guess my main question is, how does how does Bellacor survive or whatever the key piece is here? I think it's Bellacor, um, right? And I don't know if it's you have to select a model or if it's a unit, but Bellacor can say, hey, I'm screwing with you for a turn, and you have to roll a dice, and on a three-up, you can't, can't do, do anything. Yeah, 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 for sure. But I just wonder if he can survive, uh, tw like, what is it? Uh, it's 12, 24 shots from... Um, well, shots. if he stops them from shooting, yes, and then the rest of the army can yeah. pick them off and they're subsequent. So there's a f there are five drop here, so... Um, best of wishes. I think this is really cool. Nice to see Furies in the list too. Battle line's pretty good. What have we got? Battle Regiment, Warlord. Yeah, absolutely cool. I think I this is for sure. Four one. Four one. You reckon? I, I think 100%. it's definitely. 
it's it's either gonna like whiff really hard, or it's got that spice and that that blessing of the dark god, and it's going to do very well. So, uh, whether we've got measured gaming, we've got some more Ideneth. Joel Graham. Prince Joel says. Oh, is he? Okay. Oh, well, speaking of Joel Graham. Yeah. <laughs> hey, here we go. You got any spice here, Joel, that you want to tell uh, us about? Joel, you just want to tell us what your army does, mate. We'll um, hold yeah, still we, for a moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we got Nautilar, which is, is pretty cool because that's got the uh, Akeli and Morsar Guard here. We've got Thralls, Reavers. It's a bit of a hobby. Like, there's a bit of chad here because you've still got, like, when I see 50 models... And then you've got six more side guard, which I essentially count as 12 models. You know, you've got like a decent bit of hobby here to do. Um, so, and you've got uh, Jimmy, the Arkelian King, uh, and Rico, the Thrallmaster. So, it's Rocco. Oh, Rocco, my bad. Yeah, absolutely. You've got Misha, Rocco, Jimmy. For, for uh, don't memorable. quote me. Is that Rocco's modern life? Oh, my God. That sounds familiar. And I haven't seen that in a billion years. Sir, Room of the Surgeon. And yeah, that, see, he's taken hold of the line because, like, I, I just don't think keeping that piece of terrain on the board is something that you can, like, count on as something as part, like, part no, of it's, your... No, it's so clutch to try and get. Yeah, absolutely. But no one, Joel, 4 1, 5 0, like, no. anything's possible. He's a brilliant player. No, he's. What, what's going to happen here? Is he's gonna beat his opponent, be on the last point, and just concede for good guy points. It's just, <laughs> just ultimate chat points. No, the ad, no, it's ultimate BM, like a bad manners. Just like yeah, I know I could have won, but I'm gonna concede. There you go. No, and, he's not like that. He's a good guy. Just, no, <laughs> no. Oh, well, that just, he's gonna think you're a dick. He's gonna block you. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Or deck you once he sees you. Oh, none of that. I'm just a little boy. I'm, ju I'm just a <laughs> wee boy. Now, good luck. I think this is going to be a wonderful list. I'm excited to see all of these, uh, they, these uh, Ideneth go, um, you know, I think a lot of it will be their main maiden voyage, I think. Is it? Is it the first big tournament since their new book? It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, measured Gaming always does very well, so great representation there. Uh, we've got John Daly with... Um, I recognize the name, but I can't put a name to the face, or vice versa. Uh, so, Reapers of Vengeance, Gur, Beastmaster, Lord of the Hounds, Bloodthirster, Bloodthirster, Scarbrand, Bloodsecrator, yeah, Fleshhounds, Spine Takers, The Gorsemiths, Iron Golems, hold on! Oh, yeah. If these are painted nice, that's going to be super, like, sexy to see. Because, like, Iron Golems are some of the coolest vibe models. And he's taken them. Um, Hex Gorgeous Skulls. Warlord, Hunters of the Heartland, Vanguard. Yeah, keeping those Flesh Hounds in Hunters so that you can at least make them Battleshock immune is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean... Battleshock immune, you mean it stops them from getting smacked up from monsters? Yeah, I mean, but if you roar them, then you can't um, use your command point to stop them running, you yeah. know? Yeah, I suppose, uh, but you probably wouldn't use that command point for the flesh hounds anyway. Uh, do, how, how do corn go for command points? Are they? I think they're pretty starved being an old owl. They need them. But Bert the turn, really 10 out of 10, Bert the turn. Hold on, we're just going to quickly go back. Did I miss We missed Bert? the fact that it was named Bert the uh, Turd. Oh, sorry. Wrong list. So this one. Hold up. Where's Bert the Turd? There it is. Bert the Turd. <laughs> My God. My God. I'm going to snipping tool that later and put that as, like, one of my favorite things. All right. Um, I think this is chance to go well. I don't know. I don't know about the, the Bloodthirsters. Yeah, they are. The Iron Golems are really tanky for their points. They're quite cheap. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I've got no idea how this is going to go. I feel like it's probably going to be one it's, of It's their... corn, so it could... 2-3, maybe? Like... Yeah, 2-3, three, 3-2. Three, is... I mean, cons... 1-5-0. Con considering how maybe... this, I just, you know, maybe if it was more Nurgle and less Eternals, then I'd probably... I don't know. know, look, it... it... Do you know it's going to be... be in combat versing 
versing the stinky boys it'll kill you because you're in combat they give you disease points I so think... you end the turn even if you killed that unit with herpes I and you think, take mortal wounds the rest of the time. So. I think when I get flogged on the table, I'm going to be excited to see, like, the corn players play against the orc players or the ogre players. You know, they're just going to be great game. Everything's going to be beaten everything up. Um, I don't know if they definitely... I don't think they compete next to a cabbage, but there's so many more of them. If they hot roll, they can really ruin your day. So Yeah, um, that's right. Yeah, what's this? Oh, this is uh, the next one. So, yeah, that's yeah. what I wanted to see, Bert the Turt. So what are so we up to, John Daly, John, um, Jonathan, Jonathan Byrne, Byrne is what we're up to. Warhammer Philip. Um, I don't know that gaming club, but uh, we've got some Sons of Behemoth. Um, he's a really nice guy, this. He's two, um, part I, I, of the Lord of the Rings community, and he's he attends quite a lot of events and tournaments that pop up. Here we go. We've got six man crushes here, which is a bit like off meta for for Sons of Behemoth. I wonder how much um, the new Hunter, Hunted thing uh, affected that. And I wonder what how that's going to go on the tabletop I now. don't think the Man Crushes get affected. It's no, they don't. Up. That's why I'm saying he's got six Man Crushes here, which is like, I think this is like a Chad move, you know? Because also, you know, as a general, that. When, when I see Mega Gargant lists, it's like, I'm not going to say like it's it's easy mode, but it's definitely like a way easier way to get into Age of Sigma. You don't have to paint like four models. Yeah, they're big models, and they're they're a lot of fun to paint. But as painting well. one model is like painting a freaking army anyway. So yeah, who knows but many of their sons of Behemoth players out there. Yeah, yeah. I just feel like it's like it's it's way more rewarding to put effort like a lot of effort into one model than it is to put a little bit yeah. of effort into like a yeah, hundred because they look but so much better. I I think this. Uh, depending on how much he can hold the board with these more with these man crushes, I think this is definitely like a contender, like a four one, because there's a lot of meat here. There's, yeah, there's like, a lot of wounds, especially considering the shooting me meta. I mean, even if he loses some of the the big boys, he's still gonna have like a lot of meat on objectives. So I will say though, um, I, I feel like, and I would have done the same thing. This he just got trashed, and just. As he was trying to talk, he'd just come out with shit like, Marzan Gruncher. And he's like, wait a minute, that's a great name for a Gargan. And he just wrote that down. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, this is, <laughs> uh, you, just uh, just a, a, a wee a bit of Irish inspiration, um, <laughs> as my missus would say. So, yeah, um, 4-1, John. Um, I think, meter, you're definitely on the at least the moister meter. Definitely for taking something uh, like internal parity of the book. Definitely nice to see some some uh, thin boys with the chunky boys. So we've got Jonathan Oakley here. We've got a mystery list. What's it going to be? Stormcast. Betting Stormcast. No, Luminous. Ah, Zytrek. Zytrek. Um, oof. This is kind of my department. Uh, he. All right. Hold here on. Here we go. Forty sentinels. Any nice. second Alaric. Alaris is a bit of a, a little spice, isn't it? Like, not then, really. It's not great. No, um, but like cool. It's a real safe base. It's really cool. I love the model. It is so gorgeous. Like, I, I, I want to run my Alarith boys, but the rest of the books just kind of eh. They mm. little. I mean, I mean, props for taking Alarith. This person definitely. I, I don't think there's any particular spice that I the see. The law seeker is the spice, and it's going to be sitting on an objective, and you cannot claim that objective until that law seeker is dead. Okay, all right. So uh, it does have to sit on it. Okay, which feels uh, counterintuitive. Lord Regent, you get to cast off your um. Uh, greater power of Hish. It's got speed of Hish as well. Zatrex, so you get to. Get an additional spell on top of that. Yeah, no, it's it's an okay, well-rounded list. I mean, it's a, it's a fairly typical Lumineth list, so he gets downrated because of the forty Sentinels. Yeah, yeah. but other than I that, mean, forty Wardens is definitely like um, closer towards the. I think it's, I think it's a better side. If you take more Wardens, less Sentinels, you're a better guy. Also, um, props like I know Wardens are just a pain in the backside, especially if you don't have a Magna tray like. <laughs> those like three, three yeah absolutely wild um you know if they came with swords i'd probably just model them with swords or something you know like because just those three inch spears are a pain in the backside i'm actually surprised that we don't see many of them tokyo drifting it or moonwalking across the board so they get more in combat because of the spears 
um, a bit like Eldar do in 40k. You do, you definitely have to. I yeah, 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 yeah. no, um... I think this I is a 4-1 list, one list depending it's, on how like good this Alarith goes. It's like 3 one definitely. Yeah, yeah, but for sure. it's the Alarith, you said it yourself. Yeah, the Alarith is 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 rough. Um, either it's going to be like the Spice that gets it there, or it's just going to be a flop. So, uh, good luck, Jonathan Oakley. Um, now we've got a Gordon. Yeah, let's have a squiz. Um, really nice guy. Um, I think... I believe he may have gotten called out by his cousin ah, on yeah. the um, on the page, so don't quote me on that one. Scarda cool still sold Lord Celestin on Star. Oh, hold up, hold up. Yeah, Lord Celestin on Star Drake. Okay. He's taking the big dragon. Ooh, now my interest is pinked, P pinked, peaked, not pinked, but pinked. also pinked. My I'm blushing. Yeah, that's, um, we've got <laughs> uh, Lord Relictor. We've got uh, ten Judicators with Skybot. They now these are a little bit like. You know, sort of. Judicators are good. Hold up, what's um, going on here? Look, we got. I mean, yeah, we got Fulminators, which are just great, right? But we've got an Arcanaut company here. It's, it's just a hundred points, I think. I reckon he had a hundred points left over, and he wanted something that can sit in the objective and shoot. This is cool. I like this. I like this list a lot. I think that this is. Well, he's a bloody good player, so I'm very intrigued to see how this will go. He's got something in mind, and I'm keen to see what that is, because Judicators by themselves are terrible. It's 200 points for five. I'm actually going to give this a chat. I, I think yeah, I'm going to give this... Too, because I, I really want to... I, I love Judicators. If you haven't seen them, and check I, them out. I mean, they are gorgeous models. I want to see this Lord Celestin on Star Drake, right? Because oh, you just don't you don't see that anymore, right? I remember like when you saw. You haven't like, seen it since like the start of two point eight. Absolutely, like it's just a nice model. This person just decided, hey, you know, Fulminators are pretty good. I can take them and still do very well. Like that's you know, I've got everything else I need. Um, fuck it, let's chuck in a Lord Celestia. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure that it'll do very well, um, just because of what's got here. But and it's a one drop, so like. Yeah, good luck. I'm excited to see this on the table as well. Actually, I didn't think I'd be giving any uh, Chad vibes to the uh, the uh, Sigma play. Uh, it's not Sigma players, the Sigmarines. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, really cool, really cool. Um, so let's move on. Um, D3 model wounds. Yeah, they're they're a great bunch too. Um, Jordan Burgess. I think I played against Jordan before. Uh, wait, are you, aren't you in here? Yeah. J Jordan, get back here. Um, what do we got here? Maggot Kin of Nurnal. Uh, Nurnal. <laughs> uh, we got Drowned Men. Hold the line. Yeah, great unclean one. 20 I'm intrigued as to why people are still picking um, the territories they're playing, and I wonder if it's because of these spells that are attributed or if it's the artifacts. Or maybe it's just I like, I, yeah, because I mean, we are currently in uh, the base anyways, so mm. yeah. um, I don't think there's any like bonuses unless I'm missing something. Pusquail Blight Lords. I don't know what Pusquail Blight Lords do. I think those are the, um, the, the, the giant flies. Oh, yep, yep. But we got the five putrid, putrid Blight Kings, which I know they're just like a sh ton of wounds. I think we need like a five minute break to catch our bloody breath and grab some water because we cannot speak. <laughs> um, so the Blight Lords, the Flies, um, Blight Kings, obviously big chunky boys on the ground. The whole army disease points really sucks. I hate it. <laughs> it's no, killed me. This, this. This is interesting. Like, it's just a lot of wounds, and I don't see, like... These must have a ton of wounds, these Blight Lords, these little Pusquil Blight Lords. So, yeah, very, very, very cool. I think And last I've seen it, well. the army is gorgeous. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, definitely some Chad here. I think the Nurgle players are pretty cool players. I don't know how, how like, cheesy the book is yet. That's yet to be seen. I think all of them... So, Joting Faint, who I'm not sure... Who they are they just said they picked a realm because the uh, the fluff is that their army's from that realm so that might be it yeah yeah absolutely that's well absolute chad move as well um so josh we've got Met 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 yard Met yards uh, i bet you this is some magic fuckery um it's living see. city so it's already lost chad points as soon as uh, you see the title uh, uh hurricane with celestial battle mage van dance i love those models 
annoyed at on Frost. Now, the Frost Arc Phoenix gives this, like, um, negative one to hit aura, and it's kind of, like, I think it wild. Does, yeah. It's, like, I saw someone running it with two Bastelldons the other day, and I thought... Just scroll down further and then look at the Fulminators. Oh, here we go. Weather okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There okay. it is. Oh, uh, there it is. <laughs> oh, there, I mean, like, this is probably one of one of those like because usually i'd pick a safe pick is like sigma uh sorry uh sigmarines but this is just like i'm gonna keep calling them sigmarines you deserve it um and uh you know i think this is either going to be really good or just not hit the mark you know what i'm saying like no they'll definitely hit the mark this is a 4-1 you reckon this it's, is four um, one? living cities is you can teleport your army but this is an 8-drop as well, so they're definitely going to cop a lot of alpha strikes in the high I don't tables. know if you keep stuff off the table. I don't think you need to with these. I, th I think that, you know... I also think next GHB we're probably going to see Fulminators go up in points again, which is unfortunate because, you know... Well, not unfortunate. I'm not sorry for you. I just you know, felt like I had to say that. No, I definitely think this is going to do quite well. Um, Life Surge... I don't... I mean, I think the Spice here is the Frost Art Phoenix. Um, I think that's really cool. Uh, I, flaming weapon is kind of neat, but uh, and the dread spears are kind of cool. Uh, the handgunners also can do very well. I think this is like a four one five zero list. Like this is very good. Um, best of luck to you. Uh, I think you're going to do very well. Uh, Joshua Foster. Um, Josh yeah, Foster. Beast of chaos. Yeah, day three mortal points, wound. But I think they got a hell of a boost. I yeah, yeah, from anybody, the new but I book. Think Grand three, if you do it well, or even more. Yeah, grand strategy, you protect the herdstone, and don't get me wrong. I played a game the other day. Um, has he got them? He's got dragon ogres. Shit. <laughs> oh, no. Shit. You know what that's gonna do right. That's not. Ah, oh, they're fucked. Yeah, and so Bulgors the one bit can go to rend a million. Bulgors now can go to rend three. I, I, as a general, the unfortunate thing is, Beast of Chaos, if you don't destroy that Herdstone and it is in the right spot, it is just going to buff everything. I understand why you want to grand strategy that because, like, a lot... You're just going to surround it. You're going to stop your opponent from getting to it. They're just going to nail you down with yeah, lots like, of rend. But, yeah, because it gives you rend and it gets worse and worse every turn. So Josh like, is a great player. His army looks great. He's a fun guy to verse. Runs his own band um, as well, I believe, yeah? Yeah, he yeah, does. Yeah. I'm not sure what they're called. Splem. Splem, they're called. Shout out to Splem. Um, uh, metal music. Not my vibe, but very good band. I can't play it. Avera, Gorgon, Wildfire, Taurus is he on the spell. Wow, I did not realise it was that many points. Wow, that is so expensive for a Wildfire Taurus. Yeah. But um, <laughs> a Chimera, pretty cool. I'm still waiting to see... Um, Look. I, I can't say it's any Chad points because they got a hell of a boost if it was, you know, like two I, months ago or whatever before the White Dwarf. I think, I think sure. you've got to have some balls to take Beast of Chaos. I think that there's a point as and well where they're just... That's what I'm going to come to next where I know he's been playing this army for a long time, so he's redeemed himself. <laughs> I know. Chad points if he wears the hat he wore last GT. Um, oh, man, he's been playing these guys for ages. Also, um, you know, it takes it takes a dedicated player. These guys haven't really had any new models in like so long. Like sometimes. How many Beast of Chaos players are there? Is it just him? Um, uh, Beast of Chaos Two. There are two players. So it's him and somebody else. I love it. Yeah, um, yeah. The so you two guys. I don't care what your lists are. Chads. Awesome. I th I think I think Chads. Um, but then watch them go five and zero. It's definitely. Uh, <laughs> then we're just gonna get beat on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolute, absolute. Uh, Carl Hawkins is up next. I, I get nothing. Um, same, bringing my path to glory army. Yeah, that's really cool. I love that sort of stuff. Carl Hawkins with Fire Slayers. Now, Fire Slayers, did they? They've got a new book too, haven't they? They did. Okay. Um... I think there's going to be some gotcha moments with a lot of people not knowing what's going. on I believe on you here. can ally in the. The Mind Stealer Dark Obliterator. Um, so Moonfarer. I don't know much about so, players, if anything at all. So you have to just you rally it. out on a four up. That's all I know, um, and yeah. it hurts. Fifteen Hearth Guard Berserkers. Fifteen Hearth Guard Berserkers. Ten for, I think that they're just going to sit on the point and and do a lot of damage. I don't know. They're going to stay on the point. They're going to love it. 
you're going to hate it. They're going to res all their guys back. I, if I they think this is one of the work. harder counters to to the shooting, right? If they can rally on that four up. Um, I... It's hard counter the shooting, but the shooting units aren't going to aim for the units themselves. They're going to aim for the heroes. You know, um, low key, uh, bring back putting uh, foot troops in units. I'm saying yeah, it. that'd be nice. Yeah, I, I think I think that's what foot troops need for for 4.0 because you know I mean some of them probably need to get points hikes in that particular case, but I think overall I think that's what needs to happen because so many foot troop foot like th I've got no reason to shoot like I just pick him apart with shooting. I think that would fix a lot of the shooting issues as well personally. But that's just my opinion. I think um, very Carl. I, yeah, it's, it's a Chad list. I can't say that I know they're going to do well because I don't. Hearthguard Berserkers in the previous book were fucked, so I would have said, no, go burn. Um, this one, I believe they got a nerf and they kept the number at 15, which and even increased the points. Yeah. So I, I reckon it, it's, yeah, I think it's Chad. I mean, I, yeah, I'd love to see a Magma Droth as well. That's pretty cool. Um, ah, I did not notice that. Yeah, That's yeah. Ma like, you, you know, we, I've never seen one on the table. It, not in my lifetime of playing Age of Sigma. I've never seen one on the table. Um, so, very, very cool. All right. I, what are we on? Katie Daly. Uh, Maggot King of Nurgle. Let's see how Katie is going. Um, was they not part of a, a group? Uh, Befouling no, Host. Part of a group. See, I wish Prince of Pastel Postules. I love that. Great Unclean One. We've got That's Rockus. Cool. Roddy and the Golden Staff, love that too. <laughs> We've got Squelch, the, the Beast of Nurgle. They're really fun models. The Typhoid the Trope, <laughs> I love theirs. The Cholera Colour Collective, the Bubonic Battlement. Uh, oh, I love snot, alliteration. Snot Droppers, <laughs> the Pox Chickens, Furies. Yeah, nah. Um, uh, I, I just, I love the alliteration in all of the previous units. So kudos, Katie. Uh, it's great. Um, I don't know how Nogal go in the current shooting with two meta. great unclean ones. It could be interesting. I reckon <sighs> four one. You reckon? I don't know. I, I'm worried about the 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 current like the amount of damage at point that's currently. Oh, like, they're huge. They hit. Dude, you've got to verse them. Okay, okay, yeah. Just again, Fire Slayers, Ideneth, and, and sort of Nurgle, uh, sort of a lot of them are doing their first foray into, and, and this is going to be really proving ground, and I hope one of them takes it away. Um, I think there's going to be a couple of gotcha moments where you go, oh, fuck, I don't know what that does. Hey, I just got no idea. Um, you know, good luck. Um, uh, I think I think this has got, like, hot top top-ish top tables. I think it just depends how many of the, um, you know, si the cities of Sigma players and whatnot pop off. Uh, all right, so we'll probably get to the end of here, and I'll take a two-minute break. Moment. Yep, yep, Kent Howe with uh, D. See, so yeah, we'll get to Lachlan Clark, the last one, and, and then grab we'll a have a fifteen or twenty-minute siesta and uh, come back. Yeah, yeah. Unless someone wants to join me and give Damien a break, I don't know if he can. Uh, Sixteen viewers. Uh, we can we can jump somewhere else, but uh, let's go. Kent how D three mortal wounds. We got some more Ardeneth Deepkin with Fuithan. Ah, Fuithan. You got a Kellyan King. See, Eidolon again. I mean, people say that he got uh, nerfed, but uh... no, no. The aspect of the storm got nerfed. The aspect ah, of the sea. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> Ishlan Guard, which is. Yeah, they got the low tan. This is the first Almost time I've seen boy. Ishlan Guard as well. Um, in in a list, and then we've got the Alapexes. I think I think Ideneth players have like waited a long time to put those cool models on the board, and I hope they do well. Um, yeah, yeah, likewise. Thralls, thralls, three drops. Um, How many wounds is this bad boys? It's gonna be a lot. Hundred yeah. wounds. I think I think two K gets you close to a hundred on most armies, except for you know one or two. Uh, I think these are just chaff. Um, oh, the, the thralls if they're in combat are good. The are Reavers, I, the Reavers are good as well, yeah. yeah like, the right. infantry is a lot better now than what it was. All right. Um, Achillean King. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've got to recheck the book, man. 
Yeah, I, I, th I think this is like a solid list. I just, I hope that the the, the Alapexes can can carry the list because that, that's obviously what they're hoping for. And I know they do damage. I just don't know if they're going to do enough damage to beat something like Fulminators. Um, so, you know, I, I can't really judge. I, I'd like to say three wins at least, but, you know, not everyone can have it. And I feel like, I know something about this list, you know, mm -hmm not super confident um, it is in a shiver though which is nice yeah we've got lords ruin kieran okay Askins. um they say the army that kent runs is beautiful so i can't wait to see it on the table oh yeah well yeah chad points for that you know, another city is a city living city um anointed on frost up phoenix that's kind of cool kind of chad uh the same as before though and just uh, blights of uh, there you go. The Andrasta oh. is the interesting part. Did you say that? No, Andrasta. No. Okay. Andrasta. Okay. So yeah. So what we've got? Andre we've... Guard, Forminators, same crap. So so, so uh, oof. Uh, so what we're gonna have is we're gonna have the Anointed flying with those Dra Dracothian Guard just to stop them getting hit. Like they're gonna do that minus one to hit bubble. So, eh. I mean the Iron Drakes are a little bit. Um, exciting! I like to see these. I like to see. I, the I love dwarf models. Yeah, I, like there's some chat in there, but then then you got a little bit of um, then you got a little bit of. Uh, <laughs> You've got the Dracothian guard, which like bring it all down. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, the gorgeous models. Um, it's you know, you're doing what you got to do to compete. I get it. Um, I think this is going to do well. But I'm I'm excited to see a lot yeah, of the, a lot of really the well. mirror matches because that is the majority. So, uh, Lachlan Clark in D3 model wounds. Oh, host host duplicitous. This is one of your favourites, Damien. You love a zinch. It's list. not. I hate zinch. They make me re every time. What have we got? <laughs> we got prize sorcery. I, I do love beating up nerds though. Oh, here we go. Kairos Fate Weaver, your favourite. <laughs> we got the Lord of Change. Yep. Blue scribes, God damn it. blue scribes, old model. Not seen them on the table. Don't know how good they are. Anyone, the chat got anything um, uh, to say about the blue scribes here? Ah, uh, yes. So blue scribes cast on a two up, and it gives you rerolls of casting. Oof. So yeah, yeah, there's just, and I think uh, I don't know if this really matters here. Like, oh, I like to see the the acolytes <laughs> here. As Dark Obliterator said, nice fun. Appreciate it. I love it. Uh, he likes the dwarves, but they come up a bit short, which they do. Oh, wow. I see. Yeah, good, <laughs> good, good. Um, the Acolytes, I think that there's going to be a lot of um, a lot of well, summoning in host this. Duplicitous. I don't know what host duplicitous is, so I'm going to... I mean, all, of them, can, all of them can summon, so I think that just they with, can. with usually all of this... You would, usually you would take, you know, like um, the summoning guild, because then all you have to do is nine summoning points to bring in a greater demon of each again and then 18 points for another one like on the one hand they do well usually as inch players but i do sort of feel for the <laughs> fact that you got to bring your fucking entire collection with Not, you there is absolutely zero remorse for you rolling a one with your blue scribes <laughs> zero <laughs> don't roll a one every turn don't care <laughs> I, I know i think this might be like one of the the lists i can see giving the um like if if they've got the right spells and they've got enough chaff, I can see this giving some of the. the oh, you're kidding, Fuzzlet. Lachlan hasn't even started painting his army yet. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Wait. Late nights for that poor boy. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the. Uh, you, what he's gonna do is gonna paint one half blue and the other half yellow, and then do like pink eyes, three colors. I'm supporting Ukraine. All right, done. That's it. Is um, that allowed? <laughs> I mean, uh, it's three color minimum, right? I don't, I don't know. Um, no, no, it's um, battle ready, which is completely oof, different. Yeah, yeah, battle ready is the new. Um, so it's it's a lot of contrast, a lot of airbrushing, a lot of you know two a.m. nights where you're just sitting there going, "Crap, I need to get these done." Oof, yeah, yeah um, that's really rough. And and I assume that if if he's not yet painted those models, then you know summoning extra stuff is going to be a little bit. Uh, it's iffy. a bit of a yikes, yeah, poor bastard. All right. Yeah, all power to him. Um, good luck, Lachlan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good luck, Lockie. Oh my god. I hate god. Zinch. I reckon it's going to go three, two, four, one, even better. It's always the it, army oh, which yeah. you ne you never know. Oh, here we go. Liam's going to be the first one on the menu. But that's um, and that's me for the moment. Yeah, we're going to take a little be break back. because I need a, a a little bit to drink. We'll be back in about uh fifteen. Um, 
I might be around for like a hot second while I just sort of um, chat to the chat. Um, but Damien's got to go quickly and, and do some bits and bobs. But I'll be, uh, we'll be right back. I'm going to grab myself something to drink and go to the bathroom real quick. So I catch you in yeah, a hot second. Then. that feel when i'm talking to you guys the whole time and i just like muted my microphone um i've had a little bit of uh food and uh a bit to drink so i probably won't push on until we either get another guest in or uh demo comes back but if you think i've missed anything or there's some spice that you think i've missed in the first page uh let me know uh, I think overall, uh, a lot of these are match reliant. I don't think I've seen anything here that's not possible of going three and two. A lot of the lists are pretty good. It's just, I think, 
a lot of the dragons and and some of those really powerful lists, you know, um, they don't really require a lot of. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, wash my hands before and after. After you know, you don't want to make your your junk dirty, mate. So you wash before and after. Um, no one ever really thinks about that. Everyone washes their hands after, but you know, not many people wash them before. Um, but yeah, as a general rule, uh, you know, I think I think that the Stormcast Eternals meta is like it's very strong. It's pretty easy to pilot. You know, um, it's it's hard not to seem salty, but I I feel like it's back in the old Seraphon days where if you just took Skinks, you were like playing on easy mode. I think that's sort of how I feel at the moment. You don't think I'll see a three out of your list? Well, I, I hope I do, right? But someone's gotta, someone's gotta go 2-0, right? For, for all the people to go, like, sorry, two, two, and, two and four or two and three, I can math, I swear. Um, you know, so someone's got to be the person that, that does it, you know. Uh, this is a quick uh, sort of reminder. While you're here, it really helps me out. Um, we've, I, I commissioned Paint. Uh, Painted Right is my Instagram and whatnot. Um, uh, and I'm trying to shift into doing some content. So uh, just subscribing and liking the video really, really, really helps out. Um, I, you know, I'm just trying to be wholesome. I don't want to do, like, too much cringe to get views so um yeah uh, quality content when it comes out unfortunately most of the stuff here is just uh gaming stuff but hopefully we'll get some more uh, age of sigma stuff soon uh your list was made partially with translation mirror shield sniper in mind yeah i i could see that i i i don't know I understand why they did it, but there's a general rule. Like, so I was talking to someone, and they were telling me about the design of Warhammer 40k, and they've always said like, previous to this edition, most of the time Space Marines have been sort of like middle table sort of armies, with the exception of one or two cheese lists, and that's because they felt like they didn't want everyone to have their intro like their, because most people played Space Marines when they started to play 40k, just as a lot of people, I think, play, um, you know, uh, Sigma Marines, <laughs> Stormcast when they play, and they didn't want those to be top-tier competitive armies, so, um, uh, thanks for the sub, it means a lot, I love you a long time, um, I'm sure I'll ship post here very shortly, um, but yeah, I, th I think a lot of people, or the game designers that you sort of, you buy in and you've always got to buy two armies, right? Because you buy your, your first army and then you go, oh, but I want to play competitive. So, you know, they're pretty good, but they're not getting me top tables. So it's just a bit weird to see that the design has sort of gone, okay, yeah, well, we're going to make the models good and we're like cool models and we're going to, um, we're going to see them sort of do very well, which feels like... Thanks for the subs, boys. Um, I, I feel like a lot of it is sort of like, oh, we're in this this position where either they're just, you know, going to grab a whole heap of cash and then they're going to go, okay, next GHB, let's just, like, ruin these armies. Um, or, like, you know, let's just, like, make them uh, two points costed or change the war scroll. I mean, they've already faq Dragon once, so I think there'd be a bit of a ride if they did it again. Um, but I think for the foreseeable future, this is sort of what we're looking for in most of the meta is long strikes, storm drakes, and fulminators, you know, like that's just going to be, um, the meta for quite some time. So I'm really hoping that the Ideneth come around and like slap, slap some dragons, right? And same with the fire slayers. Let's go back. How many fire slayers players do we have? Do we only have the one? Also, I was really, yeah, one fire slayer. One Flesh Eater Quartz, you know, absolutely no Slanesh or Sylvaneth. I mean, I get Slanesh, but I thought there was a little bit of Secret Spice with Sylvaneth, so um, it's just weird to see that they don't have any representation. But I, I feel like if you if you look at this, I feel like that's a skewed 
um, like same with salamanders, right? I and, and some of the other models where they made this new. Um, thanks for the subs, boys. Um, where they made that new. Um, thanks, Nathan. Where they made that new uh, rule where you get commit like extra victory points if you kill them with that unit or you kill that unit. I think they've definitely. Lion Slayer is fluffy. I, I think that, yeah, as a general rule, uh, you know, they've, they've recognised that there's, there's an issue and um, and they've tried to rectify it, but they just haven't done enough. It's a bit like, you know, you've got a kid who's reaching for a balloon and you go, hey, um, here, let me help you get that balloon and then they go and tie a piece of candy to it. Like, you still can't get it. Yeah. Um, I also hate skinks. Uh, you know, I want Saurus to be good. I want new sculpts for Saurus and Beast of Chaos. That's what I want in the far future. I really don't care about the rules. If Saurus had new sculpts, I'd probably just um, I'd probably just run them, even if I lost every game. You know. Um, yeah, we're excited. Oh my God, what's that? Feels like it feels like an hour. He's been gone for ages. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not, I'm really excited to put those crocodiles on the table. Um, hold on one second. Um, uh, see if one moment, boys. See if we can get a guest speaker. I actually, I actually contacted Caleb, who does a lot of the Seraphon stuff for for this. Uh, nice guy, great Seraphon content. Um, does good YouTube videos, um, and uh, I was like, "Hey, you want to be my guest?" And I was like, "Hey, it's it's uh, yeah, I think he's American, and this is like middle of the morning for them." Just like emailed. Um, yeah, no, nah, no response. Surprise, surprise. Um, but yeah, uh, ah. I was also thinking about the tournament and I want to get some of those, you know, those helicopter, um, headphones with like the whole voice system. I think that's why I need to give one to myself, one to my opponent so that we can actually hear each other up at, uh, Maitland GT. It was so loud. And with, with the masks on as well, it was just horrific to try and hear your opponent. I swear, I learnt a sign language up there, you know. Um, uh, top run of my mouth here. I played against Liam at the GT. Uh, I can probably have a look at this while Damien's away. Liam's a, a, a cool player. Played against him um, in the GT. Uh, there was a bit of fun there, and um, there was a lot of terrain that said overgrown, along with other. Yeah, it was so loud. There was a lot of terrain that said um, overgrown, which as a general rule, um, if you had a Rena Gimiki Mimi list, just like one purely for those, no disregard for cash or competitively. If I had a Rena Gimiki Mimi list, um, I would probably, so I've got two actually. We're up to um, Liam. Uh, we're, we're halfway through scene, or Sean, um, depending on, I've heard of some people say scene. Um, I think, uh, I think I'd run, I've got a list where it's like 40 Temple Guard, uh, in Codal's Claw, and then I've got another, and Croak, which is kind of fun, um, because you're just never killing Croak, right? Like, that's a bit of a meme, and you get to put, like, Temple Guard, which are the best Saurus models on the bo on the board, and and Croak. There's another one with four Carnosaurs. That's kind of neat. There's a two Dreadsaurian list, and then um, after that, 
Yeah, they're, they're probably some of the biggest ones. Kogel's Claw is just a meme as a general rule. Um, oh, absolutely. Uh, if I wasn't doing Seraphon, there was this list where it was just like, I think it was 10 Cockatrices. Because, like, what, what's a Cockatrice at the moment, right? Uh, let me let me go to the Warhammer AOS app real quick and just have a look at how much... I don't know if they tell me uh, it's destruction. I think a Cockatrice is like 95 points or something, right? Um, destruction? Are you not going to show me... A browse by... Yep. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's, not, it's just not going to give me Base of Chaos when I click Destruction. Classic app. Uh, as a side note, like, can I just make something that that works? 12 Mourn Fangs? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> 12 Mourn Fang list. It's where it's at. Uh, um, I should post... Uh, while I'm here, uh, I will just put, here we go, I'll, uh, I'll add a link in the chat, uh, got to go to YouTube. At the end of the thing, I'll add, uh, I'll add the Discord to my Discord, but if you're not part of my Discord, uh, you should also have a look at the AOS coach, but I think most people are part of that here. Um, as a general rule, I don't mind if you post memes in general. And the Ogre Leaves with Cuthbert and Icebrow and some Yeah, like the Icebrow Hunter is like kind of a really cool concept. It just didn't... Um, Yeah, I, I like the way they can deep strike and the buffs they get around the Sabertooths. It's a little unfortunate that the Sabertooths aren't amazing models to like start to build and, and, and get onto the table. They're all fine cast, I believe, which is rough. Um, six wizards and it's not Zinch. Yeah, like... I miss the old days when you could just put a leader on a mount, like your your army just had mounts that you could put things things on. I guess there's probably a meme where you get troglodons. Uh, I don't know. I think Seraphon suffers from this thing where, like, unless you're Saurus, it's all pretty easy to make work. Like, you can go three and two running a skink memes. Oh, uh, I froze? Hold on one sec. Are still frozen? Hopefully not. I probably just clicked something I didn't. But yeah, the Fenrisian and Wolf models is like a go-to for the Sabers as a general rule. Also, they're way cheaper, like way way cheaper. Um, so uh, th this is also going to be up. I'm going to leave this up on YouTube. So if you want to share it around. Or if you think I've, like, judged anyone unfairly. I'm just updating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, um, I'm going to be a, a VTuber. I crux are good, good. So, they got two-inch range, which is kind of neat. They got two-inch range. Um, the two damage... Fours to hit, threes to wound, rend one, um, Hayden 2.0, um, and, uh, and then they've got the, the moonstone clubs, which if you get into a horde, they get like a hit for every model within two inches of them, which they can really rack up the hits, but it's very rare to get them in a place where you're going to get like a decent amount of models. They get plus one to hit. You think you've... Yeah. I, yeah I'm going to die on the... Unfor Morton Fang just need, like, plus one to save, right? Um, but I digress. Uh, Croxagore also in Coalesce. They get minus one damage, like, when they receive damage. And they get plus one jaw attacks. Their jaw attacks are only an inch, but if you roll a six, it's, like, D3 mortal wounds. Um, 
So, you know, there's, there's, they're all right. They get plus one to hit if they're wholly within six of a skink. You know, they're pretty good to sort of sit behind your screen. They're not, like, good enough. I don't think that it would be considered competitive, but I think they're, like, a little bit spicy. You might catch the, someone out, like, oh, I'm going to charge in, and then your Croxagors are there, and, and they kind of, like, beef on with the Croxagore. I mean, in I watched a video where six Croxagore killed Gotrek, so... Yeah, plus one to hit for Gargant Hackers, yeah. Or plus one Rend. Just, just plus one somewhere there. Yeah, even plus one wound and they just stay there long enough. Yeah. Or even if they counted as more models on the point. I just feel like Mornfang... There's... Like, I just don't see why you would take Mornfang if you can take more Stonehorn Riders. If you, like, can't, aren't Stone, Stonehorn Riders battle line anyways? Or do they still suffer from the Behemoth tax? Because I thought anything that was battle line didn't really count towards your behemoths. Also, I realized I was like woefully um, uneducated about the Ideneth and Fire Slayer thing. I mean, I didn't. I knew that there'd be some Ideneth people, but that's a, that's like a big majority for Ideneth there. We've got the other Seraphon player. I, I don't know who it is, but I'm going to take a quick shot at... Uh, let's have a squiz. Can we see it? No, we can't. Oh, it's Thunder Lizard. I can probably go over... No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to skip order, but I, I imagine that it's something like a, a Basti, some Salamanders. They don't count towards Behemoths? Yeah, that's, that's what you want. I, I don't know. I just... I think a good list... Really? I feel like Stonehorns like hit like a hammer, but I th a lot of destruction stuff sort of suffers from that. So Orcs have got Smashing and Bashing, which means they always sort of going to hit first if you know you're going to kill that unit. But Ogres don't have that. Maybe Smashing and Bashing should just be a destruction rule. Just half as many as Stormcast. Yeah, I... I'm waiting to see the Stormcast player that has like the the massive Glahonies, like like gargantuan size Glahonies to bring one of the dragons, like the the big dragons, and just be like, I put a fucking dragon on the table, and I don't care that it got shut off. <laughs> I feel like you need to spell Thunder Lizard. Thunder, yeah. Well, Thunder Lizard is good. So I was talking to uh, Magro earlier about this right so there in the ghb is a spell called metamorphosis everyone has this you always have it all your wizards know it um and it makes a hero a monster until the next hero phase right and thunder lizard states that your monster keyword so you that that hero gets the monster keyword right and then thunder lizard states that thunder lizard monsters get plus two wounds so while you cast Metamorphosis on like a Skink Chief, he's now gone from like five wounds to seven wounds because he gets plus two wounds for the duration of the spell. And that's not super like meta breaking or anything, but if you had like an Emerald Life Swarm or something and you some for some reason really wanted to keep that Skink Chief alive, I think that's like a viable way to keep a Skink Chief alive. Also, you get an extra ch like monster activation out of it uh but you know a skink chief can go eight inches and then also run and charge like you, you could do like some cheeky skink chief with fly is a monster runs and charges and like flies over everything and then just destroys the enemy terrain like you could do that on a skink priest for 80 points um and then he's also got six wounds for whatever reason that might be, you know. And then if you're cheeky, you can heroic recovery him, I think, in if your opponent goes first. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you take six wounds and die when it ends, but if you had an Emerald Life Swarm or your opponent went first and you heroic recovered and healed those wounds back, 
It could be a little cheeky. It's not great, but it's just like a weird interaction. Ogre Butchers with Metamorphosis, yeah, yeah, because your monsters in Ogre, like, they do more mortal wounds. Actually, that's a little bit of spice, getting a big unit of Mornfang with the charge and, oh no, it's Hero. I keep getting excited. I got super excited when I read that, because I was like, oh, that unit becomes a monster, and I was, like, getting super excited about three wound, uh, like, five wound Temple Guard, or sorry, four wound Temple Guard, and, like, three... Oh, three wound um, Saurus warriors like oh my god I was like I'll do it I'll do it and just laugh as so like I take 30 wounds and then can't heal it back and my models die instantly on my turn yeah. <laughs> uh I'm really hoping to roll triple sixes on the uh, engine of the gods so I get double attacks. It's all I want. If that just happens one time this event, I'll be a happy man. I'm really proud of myself for not bringing any Sallys or Bastildons or stuff like that. I did want to run a Snake Bastildon, but yeah, I mean, Charge of Butcher is still good. It's it's still a solid like solid play, and Butchers aren't a slouch in combat. Even for a foot hero. Yeah, if I was... Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's cheeky. During this tournament, like, if you want to take an objective, making something count for five can sometimes be real clutch. You know? Waiting for the person who wins the game on the clutch metamorphosis spell. Because it's a monster? That's wild. I didn't even think about that. The amounts of times that I could have just beaten Gargants on points if I'd made my skin hero <laughs> a, a, a monster in addition. Better ask Damo if he's coming back, mate. Otherwise, I'll have to be a one-man show. Not that that's bad. I think I, I think I can go through this without uh, this particular one, um, without Damien. Damien and I have both played it. Kelt Nars pretty cool. Um, you get. Uh, Free. Get free sisters of. S Where are they? Two bloodstalkers. Two yeah. So there's. There's uh, ten bloodstalkers. Ten blood sisters. This iron cir uh, circlet gives you. Um, oh sorry, the circling flock gives you free harpies, which. Don't seem to be in there. Um, but yeah, you get you get five harpies that come down. Um, they just do whenever, which is kind of cool. And the iron circlet, I think, is a uh, just ignore some spells. Um, this is this is definitely a, a four-one list, depending on how the uh, how the match plays out. You've got the damage. Uh, both like the blood sisters are a blender the blood stalkers are like just do so much damage the sister of the slaughter is a great chaff um you've got everything here to make a really good list it's just really gonna be like i don't know if the the meta at the moment is gonna just do more um if you get double turn that wizard is a monster for kill points yeah i didn't even think about that um, it'd be cool if you could make someone else's hero a monster. 
Someone should read that. So I think it says friendly hero, but it'd be funny if you could make someone else's hero a monster and just like sneak an extra victory point. Just like a little cheeky extra VP. But yeah, um, beautifully painted army. Liam's like solid player. He's going to get that triumph most of the time. I think this is definitely a 4 1 list. Um, I don't know if it whole like if it's going to be able to do what it needs to do I, I just maybe i'm sort of overestimating what the dragons and fulminators can do but i think this is just going to be like a like once you hit top tables it's just going to be really rough for both sides it's going to be a lot of who gets first turn i think this is a one drop yeah this is just a one drop yeah um all on yeah absolutely um absolutely a, a top tables and uh the colorous brawl ogre tribes boulder head i'm actually i'm super excited to see all these ogre tribes because we didn't see ogre tribes for so long as well right we just like you would have thought that the Ogremore tribes would have been very good in this meta, but um, was your hope worth it? Be careful, double turn that was once. Yeah, yeah. Um, like just seeing the amount of like more tribes is is really nice. Um, nice to see that some people like. I think. I'm actually surprised that there's not more Iron Jaws players. Um, like, I just thought there'd be a lot more because Iron Jaws are pretty strong. I'd say Iron Jaws are like pretty top meta at the moment, as a general rule. So yeah, it's weird to see that um, that there's way more mo people have decided. Oh well, you know, cabbages or mammoths like. And Mammoth came out on top. We got Luke Colorus here with big uh, Moore's big feast. We've got Ogre Moor tribes, and we've got Boulder Head, Gur Beastmaster, Kragnos, another Kragnos with a stone horn, another stone horn. Here we got the six Mornfang and a battle regiment, and then Sea War Scroll, um, which is. Uh, where's the Sea War Scroll? This one? The Bone Hulk? What? What's going on here? Because, like, I, I assumed that this is just a one drop, right? But it, can it be a one drop? Drops not mentioned. Huh. Bit, a bit wild. Um, three out of four behemoths. Yeah, I mean, this, depending on how, whether it gets the drop or not, I think this is going to be in your face turn one. And it's just going to depend on whether or not it can do the damage. I mean, Kragnos is terrifying. Um, I think some... Ogre more tribes players, um, unless they're against like a range list, they can kind of hang back, because sometimes you go for those long bomb charges, and then you end up with like one or two models like in the fray, and just sort of sitting there with their with their cock in their hand, like not knowing what they're doing. So, you know, um, yeah, I I think it has the ability. I just wonder if it's got the utility with that maybe more more you know models than Kragnos would have added I know he's good I just don't know if he's 720 points good but you know Chad to bring um no one no one here has less uh, more no one here has less than six legs technically on a model oh I guess Kragnos has four depends if you count his arms as legs um yeah, so I, th I think that's a pretty good list. And also excited to meet this Brawl team. I've, I've not met 
met them before, so or I have, and I just absolutely like. Whoosh. We got Lucy Moore here, running the uh, the list. Okay, before I click the list, come on, who, who wants to guess it? I'm guessing Stormcast. Anyone else for Stormcast? Yeah, no. I think there's a small delay. I'll I'll, I'll give it a hot second before. How many cool boys low? I haven't seen. I, I played against cool boys before. They just if the crossbows went down in price, I think they'd see a lot of play. But right now, just not with with the crossbows. I don't think it's like they're too expensive. You know. All right. So we're gonna switch over. Let's have a quick squeeze. And it is cabbage. Oh my god! It's iron jaws. I'm so excited. So we've got cabbage patch kit pigs love. With the girls, that, well, I, I'm making some assumptions here, but I imagine Lucy is female. Uh, the girls are really on with the alliteration. The last um, woman we had in the, well, it seems that way, uh, had great alliteration. So um, I'm excited to see what they can bring to the table. A mega boss on more crusher. Um, another but mega boss on more crusher. Two war, yeah, war chanters. Weird Knob Shaman, which is nice to see. I don't know if I see a lot of those in, in this. Gold Grunters, Gold Grunters, Gold Grunters, and Art Boys. Nice to see some Art Boys. Um, I don't, uh, this is Nine Drops, which I, I don't know whether I rate, like, the higher drops. I think that that's going to hurt them when they come up against something like that's super aggressive. Um, but I'm pretty sure they can take a take a punch, and I know it takes me ages to chew through any of those um, any of those gore grunters. So um, I, th I think this is a solid list. Uh, once again, nine drops is probably what lets it down. But uh, go ahead, yeah, destroyer armor of gork. That's different. I don't know if we see that very often. I think I've just been going to SCS save. Yeah, Kate Snuggle list was like, had the cool names. Yeah, yeah. The, the Nurgle names were pretty badass. Um, I was sort of, I saw the Cabbage Patch pig, Pigs. That's a tongue twister. Um, and I was sort of expecting more, uh, more, but uh, I'm sure the paint job won't disappoint. I think this is, you know, Orcs are always fun to play against. Anything where I don't get shot off turn one, I'm pretty happy. Like, if we get past turn two, even if I get knocked off the board, I'm, I'm always happy to actually get in a fight. So, you know, a uh, lot of based points here. Chad List, um, got a lot of pigs, there's not much, you know, it's it's going to be competitive. But the Double more Crusher is definitely not... Um, probably the meta choice, the, pro probably the meta choice would just be like spam more gold grunters just because they got so much, so much beef for such a small, yeah, it is, it looks, it looks like, um, it's going to be a lot of fun to play against. You're definitely going to kill some stuff and you're going to get killed and it's going to feel like you've had a good game and, you know, uh, it's a, it's a shake hands game at the end of it. That's for sure. Um. There's no feel bad moments. You know what you sort of in for. Um, so I think I can go on. Uh, we got Matt Holt from Beast Gaming. Um, shout out to Beast Gaming. I think Matt, is Matt the only Beast Gaming? Oh, good for representing your uh, Zinch. Host of Carnum, hold the line. We got Fate Skimmer. Oh, Herald on Zinch of the Burning Chariot. I don't know, is that, that, that seems like, I don't think I've seen that. And Blue Scribes. Sango Shaman. Hold on. Yeah, there's a Demon Prince. Screamers, Screamers, Screamers. Wow. Two Cockatrice. My, what is this? This is a diamond in the rough. I think that this is either... It's either going to be Chad and Flop. 
or there's some tech in here I just don't know about. It's gonna come out of nowhere and just slap you. Screamers, I, I'm gonna have to look up screamers. I don't even know what they do. I've never seen one on the tape, but I, I love the cockatrices, right? I, I think I think the cockatrices are a really cool. Yeah, yeah, zinch. Um, let's have a quick squeeze. And and there's no there's no big birds in there either, which is. Um, so, did I see a fate skimmer? Was that what it was? It was a fate skimmer. Yeah, the move sixteen inches. Bravery ten. It's got some shooting, but it's paused to hit. If the target is the enemy monster, you get D3 damage instead of one, which is pretty cool. Oh, and when you fly across things, you do model wounds on two ups. Yeah, and, what, and I assume I assume that's what um, screamers do as well. I assume screamers just uh, screamers a zinch. Oh, they're fairly tanky, and they're pretty cheap. Um, after you've made a normal move, pick one enemy unit and roll one dice for each model in the unit that's passed across any models. For each five up, that unit suffers a mortal wound. For if it's a wizard, for each five plus, inflict D three mortal wounds instead of one. That's really cool. Some like hero sniping there too. Um, oh, I just gotta drag old Damo back into the. Welcome back, Damien. Have a check out of this list. Oh. All right, let's have a look. What have we got? We've got a uh, a Herald of Zinch on on a chariot. We've got um, the Blue right. Scribes, a Zangor Shaman, a Demon Prince. So no big chicken. Interesting. And then and he's got six, the 12, 20, Oh, sorry, six, twelve, eighteen screamers. And six Skyfires with two Cockatrice, six Furies, the Burning Head. Isn't this, this neat? This guy's just like gone crazy with power. I mean, the Cockatrices, like this is all mortal wounds. Everything here. They do mortal wounds when you fly over things. The Cockatrices do like a blood boil, I think on a three up. They do D3 or D6 mortal wounds. I'm not quite sure. I have to have a quick squiz. Hold on. Is it in the list? I don't think it is in there. I think that's still a... A um, a base of chaos thing, yeah. Um, what is it? A base of chaos is war scrolls, cockatrice, and they can also. I don't know if cockatrices can come off the board. Yeah, hold on, let's have a quick. Ninety-five points for a monster is also ten inches. Petrifying goes on a four plus. You suffer D three mortal wounds. So you like you're hoping for a lot of rolls here, but if you hot roll, you're doing like maybe. If you hot roll, probably, you know, 8 to 12 mortal wounds here. You're doing, um, like, 18, uh, probably maybe 10 mortal wounds here. And then this guy does mortal wounds, with, like, when they fly over you. Very cool. Very cool. Actually, Chad Zinch list. I love it. Um, I did a couple before you got here, just because we uh, better Yeah, no, of course. Um, Ah, oh, here we go. Michael Healy from uh, Western Warriors with his Maggot Kin of Nurgle. All right. Filthbringers. Rockbringer Sorcerer. Wow, look at all the sorcerers here. That's... That's a lot of sorcerers. And then he's got the Putrid Blackings. I bet you, yeah, a ton of wounds. 121 wounds. This is just going to lock you down in a just a big wall of meat. Can, and they can summon as well, can't they? So I imagine what's going to happen here is there's going to be... No, a I don't think they can, mate. No, they can't summon anymore? They used no, to be I able don't to. So. Uh, well, I mean, as a, I don't like summoning as a general mechanic. Um, Matt Holt's one of those comp sport... Um, Matt was running Giants pre-Sons of Behemoth. This is a heavily converted list. Screamers look like crows, etc. Oh, that's super fucking neat. Um, I think this is going to go yeah, well. I'm very keen to see the... Oh, you know what? I think I have seen that Matt Holt army, and it is good. 
Yeah, yeah. The future Black Kings are like big. That I think this is going to be one of those ones that even like big shooting lists are going to take it. Like, it's going to be rough to get through because they're just a wall of flesh. Ah, oh, there you go. Apparently, Nurgle does summon. Yeah, yeah. I I think what's happening here is he's going to summon on like some of the big boys and stuff. That's that's what happened. What's going to happen here, in my opinion. And I, not... I mentioned it before, and I mentioned it now. I think I really am putting the I have no idea into the okay, what this army does into the we have no idea what we're talking well, about statement well i mean i mean <laughs> if i think that there's a lot in nurgle that a lot of people are just going to come up and go hey you're just going to have to tell me your mechanics because like their book only came out a little while ago and this is going to be the same with Ideneth. they're going to be like you know yeah well i i dare say nurgle something is probably going to be like one two models big models throughout but, you know, they come in clutch, and they're free models. Free. Um, but uh, I, th I think this is a 3-2 list, or it's a spicy 5-0 list. I'm not super sure. I'd have to have a look at all these different lore. Of... No, it's definitely mid-table. Um, I think majority of Maggot Kin, unless you're going all of your bloody black like flies, are going to be mid tier to mid high it should be good i mean michael's a good player he's a good guy so we'll see what he comes up with here's a michael thompson part of chaos with more lumineth realm lords now let's see how f come on damien how filthy Techless. is this yeah oh um, Techless. no no not filthy because Techless is a trap but he's got a block of 20 wardens out. he's got dawn riders actually you know what dawn riders and Techless chucks this into like okay chad tier like i i love the fact that you've taken techless and i love the fact that you've taken the dawn riders because you just don't see them you know um very so very thing. cool the bit that always gets me regarding techless is you don't have enough to stop the casting mm. so if you don't have enough shooting you don't have enough to stop the casting you will probably most likely if you're me always forget uh, uh gonna forget it total eclipse which is the spell that is two cp for the cost of one i always forget it it always kills me yeah so man. i'm very keen to see what this bloke can do honestly when arch when they go hey i'm playing techless first spell is uh protection of techless on ted i'm like okay and i'm like <laughs> trying to spell the 10 rarely happens and then he goes oh total eclipse i just go oh, you know and i see me fail that dispelling roll it's just super frustrating <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, like halving your command points for a lot of people means that they only really have one CP to use, right? Because only yeah, like, cause you only get pretty much the one. Fuck. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Seraphon get like a decent amount, but as a general, you like you rarely get, like in most armies, you don't get a lot of uh, command points. And yeah, the total eclipse is rough. I mean, he's got some other damage spells, but I don't think they're that good. I think that total eclipse and protection. I think you had us. twenty sentinels as well, so that's not so bad. Yeah, yeah, twenty sentinels, twenty wardens, like it's. Yeah, I like that list. It's not bad. Yeah, I, I just hope that he can screen enough. Um, I don't know if he can spread thirty wardens out enough. I mean, you can, but also, yeah. Um, I think I think it's a three and two list. I don't know if it'll end up getting top tables, uh, just purely because Teclas is pretty easy to shoot off. Um, yeah. So, uh, Beast of Chaos, Chaos Gravespawn here by Nathan Goodchild. Let's have a squeeze at this. Yeah, that's what I said earlier. I'm pretty sure the um, Goodchild cousins had uh, asked to take each other on, so it should be good. Oh my god, that's going to be great. <laughs> Doomball, Brayshot. Oh yes. See, I love this. Oh, and, and four Chimeras. chimeras. Oh, Cockatrice right, is... This is definitely a competitor for uh, Top Chad. Oh, is Cockatrice not a monster? No, no, it's not. Oh my god. I thought it was. No. No, it is. Cockatrice has the monster keyword, but it doesn't take up a behemoth slot. Never mind. I will... That's wild. That's... I, I actually love this list. What do we got? We got uh, 1970... Gonna be getting this mm. triumph. 146 wounds. 146 wounds for um, for 1970 points is pretty good. These bulgur, really good. these bulgors are like very good at the moment. Um, once again, um, 
Beastmaster, yeah, you're probably going to keep some of those Chimeras alive. Um, well, is Beastmaster keep a monster alive or Behemoth? No, it's, it's keep a, a monster, I believe. He, he can keep seven monsters alive, surely. Yeah, <laughs> one, of, one of them will survive. I'm just having a quick squeeze at what the Chimera does because you rarely see them. So they move 10 inches, they've got 12 wounds, they've got a shit save, but, okay, they've got a fiery breath attack. Was the oh wow the, this war scroll is just a lot. Um, they got each of the head does different things. It's actually a solid bit of. Do not use the attack. The top suffers the number of mortal wounds shown on the damage table. D six mortal wounds, just straight up D six mortal wounds. Take it if you're within fourteen inches. Just S M D take. So that's D six. For a maximum of uh, 24, um, uh, 40, 48 max model wounds. So that's probably more like 24 total. But like this and this, that's just like, oh wait, hold on. Let's, that's a lot of model wounds. Actually, this makes me really sad. <laughs> this is like, this is I like it, weirdly man. Chad, but also like terrifying. Um, this is going to catch some people. I love it. Very cool. Very cool. I hope you go um, four and one. I don't know if they're going to be able to survive the shooting, um, even with some shenanigans, but I, I wish the best. Um, very. It very should be cool. good. It looks like it'll be a fun list of verse, too. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm very keen to verse it. Yeah, yeah. It looks. No, uh, you don't see QR on. It's a tiny model, but it's monster. It's monster, but not behemoth. Monster mash. Very, very, very cool. Um, Nick Cuvaeus. We've got some Stormcast Eternals. Uh, let's have a quick squiz here. Uh, Goddess, Relicta, Azeros. I do like the Azeros. If it's a thing, I think it is. Yeah, yeah. It's it's the one with the bow. So um, it is Archie McFly. Okay, yeah. I love that model. Yeah, we've got uh, Aether Wings. Oh, Chariot. That's kind of cool. But then we got the stra the Raptors. Yeah, it's like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, and then, uh... I mean... <laughs> I think this is cool. I, it's just it's just really hard, right? I mean... It's going to be gold, I guess. Um, he hasn't gone dragons. But which, he's still I, got... Is it He's still, he's got, still the got the Forminators. Yeah. He's still got the Long Strike, which is. I didn't even uh, go. Everyone's going to be taken. He didn't even. He didn't even really take the the Draco list. So you know, a little bit of chat, a little bit of chat here. Um, I don't. I think that this is going to be an issue throughout um, the entire tournament. Like these Raptors, they're going to be something you have to keep in your mind. Like the whole game, it's it's going to be very frustrating. Um, Aether Wings. Irritating. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's so good for 65 points. <laughs> and they are good for 65 points. I have no idea what the Redemption Brotherhood does, but. Yeah, it's one of those Stormcast ones. You're not going to be able to check it unless you own the book, so. I don't know. I think this is a, I think this is a 3 2 list. Um, I don't. I, or, or it's a 5 0 with some spice. I don't. But I think I, 3 2 or 2 3. I don't know if it's. Um, Hopefully you, know. you can't hear that. I can, but I don't know what it is. It sounds like you're murdering That, that is like a police it. siren. Uh, somebody's getting arrested. It's typical Western Sydney. Yeah, boy. <laughs> that's just that's just a um, that's just a St Mary's rave. That is. <laughs> All right, we've got Nick James from D3 Model Wounds. Hey, this is our Flesh Eater Courts, uh, Blister Skin Grand Court. Uh, we've got an Aberrant Arch Regent and. Uh, Let's have a quick squeeze. I love these named everything. Um, Flesh eaters. I was like, that looks familiar. Why is it? Cool Aberrant King on Royal King? Turn. I, just, I haven't seen. How many players are there running Flesh Eaters? One. This is the only player. This is it. Yeah. yeah. The, so Crypt Flayers. One They're of... the really good combat ones. Oh, okay. So there's Crypt With Shooting, I think. There's one that does shooting based on your like the brotherhood's a one drop. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. Um, 
I think that the the issue with one of them is like does wounds based on how much they beat you your like bravery by and they do mortal wounds equal to that and they they're really scary because they came up to me i'm like oh shit my skinks are like bravery six and my saurus warriors are like bravery eight and boys like rolling 12s and 10s <laughs> cry myself a river um but That's what you get for being a seraphon yeah yeah absolutely seven drops i I think that, I mean, you also get to summon some more guys in. That's just part of Flesh Eater. You know, I I think it'll stand up but suffer the same way a lot of old, you know, there's no, like, Alpha Strike shooting here. There's nothing really that allows him to get, like, in their lines very quickly. I know that the, the Terror Geist and the Royal Zombie Dragons, they can get pretty far with Fly, but it's just not enough to... I don't see anything here that's, like, like enough to get them into... Smaller boards, though. Yeah, that's true. Um, if you're able to get in there, I think this is a, a 3 and 2, but uh, probably looking more 2 and 3. Um, but absolutely... But the based... D3 Mortal Wounds guys are really good players, too. So yeah, that's true. Know. One of those things. Yeah, oh, I just if you're taking if if it was me, I I probably wouldn't be able to. But I've been using the crutch that is Seraphon, so you know um, I haven't been playing. But absolutely, Chad for being the only Flesh Eater courts. It's lovely. I just realised, and I'm slightly triggered. Yeah. He's named him Bretonian Lords and Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they're just Bretonians. I, you know, hopefully I'm surprised. I just, you know, it's, it's a bit rough. Uh, Flesh Eater Court's not having the tools to get either up the board fast enough or or take the punch that, with the Alpha Strike meta at the moment. Um, yeah, so, that's always the problem with all the books, especially Feck. Yeah, um, Owen yeah. Cross, next time. Owen Cross. So Owen Cross, uh, it is... Ogamore tribes and blood gullet. Blood gullet. Nice there we different. go. Stone horn, stone horn. Uh, Hrothgorn general. What's is that like a name he's made, or is that actually what it's called? That is um, the war cry, not war cry, the um, war band. I can't recall. So the war Hrothgorn's band. Hrothgorn's man trap is. Oh, okay. So Hrothgorn himself will be the general. Fire belly. It's cool to see a fire belly. I've not seen them I'm on the table. Do you? They're useless. Yeah. Are they? You only oh. want you want it for billowing ash. It's casting a seven. It's a twelve inch bubble of minus one to hit. I mean, that's pretty cool. It if is, you yeah. can, but do, does he keep up with the frost lord and stuff? I mean, even if no, have to... no. Okay. <laughs> Not even close. Okay, and then we got frost sabers, a mournfang pack. This guy wins my love because of frost sabers. Now, if anyone remembers me from. That really, really dark day that was Sydney Slaughter, where I was like, you know what, I'm going to run fluff. Oh, because I'm you, sure everyone else wants me to see you at the, 2.0. Yeah, you ran the guy, <laughs> the the hunter as well. Actually, the guys were I talking... ran two hunters, and I ran eight, uh, two units of eight doggos, and uh, I did not do well. Yeah, flyers give me nightmares. <laughs> uh, yeah, Fekka anti ring. Um, yeah, escape from me. army. Yeah, yeah, that's really rough. I, You know, I. I unfortunately see that there's a little like not having enough battle line here that it's gonna. I think this is what's this his is a um, grand strat, base master. master. Gotta I, keep the monsters alive. I don't. I don't know if this is it, chief. You've got two monsters. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't, yeah. That's a two three. That's a two three. Um, but Chad for taking uh, the morning frost the, sabers. Yeah, frost like man all this is really it. cool. Um, very cool. I. I Hopefully uh, you surprise me. We've got Pete Bickford from uh, D3 Model Wounds. All right, what are you running? He's an absolute degenerate, and I love him. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. He's done it. He's painted his army. Marathi, Flying Danger Noodle, the Shadow Queen. <laughs> yep, love it. Witch Elves, Life Takers, Ten Blood Sorkers, Plum, Ten Blood Sisters. Lady Gertrude. Queen Liz and Jeff, which is the Hag Queen on Cauldron of Blood. Yeah, I mean, this is this is fairly... This is fairly, like, general. I think this has the capability 
to to go really for one but it's just it's yeah. going to depend on how well pete pilots it to the end there uh we are eight drops which means he's chosen to put he's uh, chosen hunters and warlord 20 Witch Elves is also nice to see because not a lot of people want to put is, those yeah. Witch Elves it's on the a, table. It's a nice take away from the usual. Yeah, I just wonder if, um, you know, with 8 drops, he's able to stop the Alpha Strike that most of the, either the Destruction, because there's a lot of Ogres here, um, or the or the, uh, the Sigma Rites are going to do. Um, so, yeah, good luck. It definitely has the opportunity. Definitely 4-1, yeah. Yeah, 4-1. Um, we've got Pu Hin Ho, uh, with, I hopefully said I that right. Pui. Pui? Um, I, I don't know. Um, apologies for pronouncing your name incorrectly. Uh, this Luminous, name... um, Sire, so same again. There's a lot Wait. of Sire. Finari, Lord Regent's new, isn't it? You don't really run no, that. No, the Lord Regent's the boy on the, um, not kangaroo horse. I'm gonna call it a course. I think I think that's a everyone's taking one. Oh really? Yeah, everyone except me's taking one. It's because the greater power of Hish. You can wow. cast it on D three units off of him. And that allows and opens up your other units to cast their different spells. For example, Ethereal Blessing. Two uh, units. Twenty of wardens, 20s. twenty wardens, five blade lords, that's a trap. But he's got forty sentinels, so Forty Sentinels, forty wardens. That's. Oof. Oof. Yeah, the Sentinels are a big yikes. Yeah, yeah. I. Like, I was getting excited when I. Like... I wonder what his thoughts are with the Blade Lords, because they're not great. He's going to protect the Cathala with them, but I don't think the enemy's really going to survive past the, that amount of shooting, but we'll see. Yeah, you're either going to. You're <laughs> either going to lose. Like. These Sentinels. Um, what does Ethereal Bre Blessing do? Um, you cast it, cast on, I think it's like every other spell, a 7, and it gives you Ethereal, so they become 4-up unrendable. Oof. Some Sentinels with 4-up unrendable. I guess you power... Well, with Sentinels, it would be 5-up, but yeah. Okay. Are they a 6-up base? Are they the Sentinels? No, they're a 5-up. They're okay, yep. Cool. I mean, cool list. I think it has the potential to go high. I just think that there's some traps in there. I think this is a 3-2... Especially considering the, how competitive the meta is, I don't, I don't think that. Yeah, I'm uh, really, really surprised about it, seeing all the lists we've seen so far. I, th I think this is, this is like, I don't know. I often wonder if so, if people stopped, uh, like using the Sentinels so much, if there was there's something else in that book that I mean can do the same amount of damage. You know, like I know that they're good, but I, you know. I don't know if they're good enough. I don't know at the moment. Um, all right. Two units of the Sentinels are not battle line, which is interesting. I think it has the potential to go 4-1, but I just feel like it's it's not strong enough and taking out some of the characters will dismantle the army quick. So uh, here we go. Clan Filth with some Stormcast Eternals, Tempest Lords, Robert, uh, Robert Rhymers. Rhymers. All right, let's have a squish at this. I don't... Have we... Tempest Lords, Knight Draconis. He's got sure. dragons. So what's that? That's a six, seven That's dragon. Is it? Uh, no, yeah, no, no, hold on, hold on. No, no, I know that I dislike, but I was saying before, I would give a Chad like to anyone who had the fucking big balls to take Draco like one of the big dragons, right? Because no one's taken them. I don't know if he's good, but I know that as a general rule, people don't like it. And the issue is here, right? Normally I'd say, oh, this is bad, right? But you're so busy dealing with everything else here that he actually might get a time to shine, you know? I think this is pretty cool. I like it. And I'm going to be excited to see all the dragons have their dragon war. It's going to be like Reign of Fire. <laughs> That's a good movie. Yeah, yeah. Two drops... Emerald Life Storm to keep Trondis alive. I think it's kind of neat. I like it. I like it. This is one of the more fun lists. I mean, you obviously said I'm bringing dragons. And that's the thing. It's really hard to be like, hey, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's kind of hard to be like, hey, oh, you're a dick for taking 
th yeah, this, but I can tell this man just went, I want dragons. And I don't, like, this tells me that he's in it because he loves the dragons. So Chad, Chad points. I don't know whether that drops it into the 3 2 range. No, or, or be five. more like 4 5 uh... You reckon? Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. Um, absolutely, um, absolutely based. Love to see a dragon. Uh, good job, Clem. Uh, we've got Scott Norwood here from Western Warriors. A lot of Western Warriors um, showing up. Good to see. Uh, a Cinch, Guild of Summoners, Prize Sorcery, Fate Weavers, Blue Scribe, Archaeon, the Ever Chosen. Ooh, don't like that. No, thank you. I think that's one of the first Archaeons we've seen. Yeah, I think it is too. Um, so, yeah, dislike this, and I dislike <laughs> this. Um, I dislike Archaeon. the Blue Scribe just yep. as a reroll so, casting. <laughs> sure, this, this, is like, um, this is like mud in your eye. That's it. Put dirt in your eye. This is, uh, this is, um, yuck. Uh, especially if Archaeon does some, uh, cheeky, breaky, bouncing around, you know, and I know he's, like, pretty unkillable. He's, like, He can be. Yeah, you yeah, can get him yeah. really, really unkillable. I yeah. like the list. Yeah. I love Scott, but I hate the list. <laughs> this, this I, I hope that you face nothing but shooting and then you laugh at them as Archaeon doesn't die to 24 long strikes or 80 shots from I don't yeah, know. He can bounce that crap back. Yeah, because he bounces. Oh, that's in combat only actually but um, regardless. But, but either way I mean, if if 40 uh, Sentinels shoot at Archaeon I don't know if they take him down. I mean, it's a lot of shots. Nah, the, the DPS check is about 3 mortal wounds per 10. Okay, okay. So hot rolling. Really hot rolling. Yeah. Um, I think that's like... It, it's either going to be a three and two or two, depending on how. It depends he how he goes. Scott's a brilliant player. I expect you know the best of him. So five, I'm gonna say five personally, and bust. because people will underestimate it. Yeah. Because yeah. it's Zinch, so it's probably going to go four one minimum. That's what I say. We got seen or Sean High from Chaos here. Um, Sean Haig. Sean Haig. All right, all right, chill, Mitch. Petrifax <laughs> Elite. So. Good to see some more Leech Cavalos again. I think maybe he's just going in because he's just like a good, cheap uh, leader. Um, yeah, he can bounce range into combat. And he's got Ark in the Black. <laughs> Death Riders. Oh, wow, no. This is Chad. Death 15 it. Death Riders. That's sick. Six of more Guard, too. Now, this out of all... Yeah, Chad. Chad List. Chad list. Love it. I don't know how well any, like, this is going to be one of those things where I'm going to be like, hey, how good are the Immortus Garden combat? You know, when you're like, you don't know. You don't know what they do, right? I've never seen them on the table. Um, and the Death Riders are spooky too, so very cool, very, very cool. And I think Arkin's got some um, all-out defense shenanigans as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Absol absolutely based. Love this. Love more, I, yeah. Cool. I think this is... I think this, unfortunately, is probably a 2-3 list. Nah, uh, it'd be more than that. Sean's a good player. Oh. I dare say 3-2 at the absolute minimum and um, better than that. Well, someone's got to go 2-3, buddy. I just yeah, don't... someone already did. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> it was the, uh, there was the Zinch player. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but, yeah, I maybe these these are the sneaky... Oh, and the Gothazar Harvester, which is very cool. I love that model. I actually love that model. Some people don't vibe with it. I think it's really cool. It's a one drop too. Very, very cool. Um, I, I think he's going to do very well. Um, I definitely have fun games. So what have we got? We've got... Uh, Sean, Sean Tuffnell? Tuffnell? Yeah, Sean. I always have, have trouble. You uh, have horrible pronouncing names. Yeah, yeah. OBR are pretty Chad. I feel like OBR, you just like your infantry is your main like fighting block, which is what an army should be. Oh um, no, no, annihilators! Oh, annihilators, good. I think they're good. They are so good, especially with the grand hammers. But this one actually has to fight you. Oh no, it doesn't. Uh, I mean, if he does it right. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, I believe it is. So what he will do, 
He'll deep strike one unit of Annihilators in a turn. They'll get their mortal wounds off everything within, I believe, it's something like 9, 12 inches. Mm -hmm. Then they charge you. It does more mortal wounds. Then they hit you for a 6, doing like 3 or 4 damage or something stupid. And then when they die, they do mortal wounds. Ah, good, good, good. I'm glad (laughs) that they exist. Good. Um, I mean, they're 240 for 3. Liberator's cool. I think that the Aether Wings are probably just going to be chaff. I think these are probably uh, the most... wings that help out the raptors. It gives them plus one to hit. Okay, okay, yeah. I think this doing this. This is going to be a harder one of the lists from um, from Stormcaster Turtles. I think as a general rule, but I think it definitely has the ability to go uh, well. I just wonder how it'll go in the mirror match. Mostly, I think it might get picked apart by some of the more competitive shooting lists like the Marathi Bow Snakes list, but. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of Stormcast on Stormcast action here, and um, I'm, I'm excited to watch the, the Vanguard Raptor off where no one wants to deploy their Raptors until the other person <laughs> yeah, deploys until turns, their Raptors. Until turn four when they yeah, have Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> oh, fuck, I really don't want... Uh, that update murdered my Corn Arcane on this. Smack me around a bunch of times. Over here, pretty, yeah. Um, I, th- I think this could be a three... Like, it's definitely a three... Like, the what you should be going is three, I, two. I, Four, one. Yeah, but, you know... Someone, it's annihilated, man. It's going to depend. It depends on the matchups here as well. Um, so, let's go... Sebastian Graham, Fellowship of the Dice. Who I are think, those guys? I've never seen them around before. Stormcast Eternals. No, Cities of Sigma, which is essentially... Flamespire Pe- Phoenixes. Now, hold on. That's kind of neat. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, like Phoenix, uh, Phoenix he's Guard. A, um, he's like got a Phoenix got... Court. <gasps> you got the Forminators and the Raptors there. For... Look, I get but it. But he's only taken three Raptors, so that's okay in my books. Yeah, I think he... And yeah. he can't shoot twice. I think this is the most chat of the sitting, Cities of Sigma list, list that I've seen, the Living City. I think it's very cool. I like the Flamespire Phoenixes. I think they're neat. got no idea what they do. Um, uh, I probably won't think they're neat when I'm fighting them. If I fight, yeah, you're probably going to get rain. You just yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. that's fine. Yeah, yeah, good, good. <laughs> it's um, living city though, so they're going to be deep striking the bloody fulminators in. Love some black art corsairs. They're based, absolutely. Yeah, very cool. And the phoenix guard are pretty good. And um, I'm not quite sure what this does, but I'm sure that it's busted. might be defensive for the hero. Yeah, very, very cool. Very cool. I like it. Um, I think this might not perform as well as some of the others. But um, you should definitely be aiming for three twos, if not four ones. But you know, I, it's it really depends on. I think there's, as I said, there's going to be a crucible of Stormcast Eternals and Living City, and it's going to be down to piloting lists. I think that the like because of this, um, this this top bracket, there's like that's where most of the action is going to happen. So. Um, yeah, I, I guess I originally was a little bit salty that there were so many Stormcast Eternals, but now I feel like they're all going to feel their own medicine the whole game. So we've got Sean Ratcliffe next um, with a mystery list. Let's see what it is. We're coming up to Shem O'Brien, who's been sitting in waiting for his list yeah, review. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Somebody's got to cut it off right before we get to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, I, <laughs> and, and next, uh, next uh, we got here we go, Archaon, Enslaves to Darkers. So that's the second one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he's actually done a proper Slaves to Darkness list. None of this uh, Legion of the First Prince. Sorcerer Lord, Paragon of Demon Prince, Marauders, Marauders. Fucking 30 Marauders. Um, um, it's going to be such a bitch to move. Yeah, and a War Shrine. I think, this is, do. I think this is based. I think this is yeah, cool. I don't know whether it's like... A, depends how, ever, like how good... Archaon is. I wonder how much this list relies on Archaon to win the game. I think this is definitely a, two victories in the bag, but I wonder how it'll go once it shifts up to those higher tables where they just pick it apart and ignore Archaon. So, um, a lot of armies will just mortal out Archaon or they'll just smash him up in combat because I don't think he gets the massive bonuses to his armor save in this list. Okay, okay, cool. Um, you know, Props to you for bringing this. I, I think this is... Uh, you know, I imagine this looks amazing Yeah, 50 well. total, Kelly. Yeah, yeah, very, very cool. Um, so, 
Well, Shemo Brian Skaven Tide. Okay, let's just ignore him. No, I'm just <laughs> Let's have a look here. Um, 50 titles, yeah. 50 total Marauders. Prize Sorcery, you want to keep that uh, your Wizards Alive, Indomitable. Yep. It's the Marauders that do the heavy lifting is um, what Brent Coppel had said yeah, in that I'm, previous list. I wonder if they will survive long enough to do enough heavily, heavy lifting. It's the Nurgle. I'd assume so. Nurgle's yeah. very hard to beat. Nurgle should just um, should just bring him back or give him a four up board or something, you know. So we got Overseer of Destruction, the Brass Orb. I believe the Brass Orb does mortals. Is that correct? The Brass Orb does indeed, I believe. Yeah, it's like the um, the Egg of Quano from the old Lizardman book where you crack it and it does mortals to people. Um, yep, yeah, more more warp power, more more warp power that's terrifying i remember the old days of of mortal wounds where skaven were like top scroll of down for a moment he's got two with more more warp power there it is two cannons this so i think he's this gone is... shooting out the arsehole <laughs> i think normally i'd feel like upset when i see this sort of thing but this is all this man's playing like what is it? Um, I'm playing checkers. This man's playing like 4D chess. He's like made packs with Dark God so he doesn't blow up his own shit. You know? He, this man's telling me how, how he knows he can win on roulette. You know? 100% of the time. <laughs> you know, it works, it works 100% of the time, 10% of the time. The warp grinders, the rattling guns. Um, I, I wonder... reckon we're going to see him. And I need you to do this for me is you need to have a pile of the stuff you've killed yourself and then the pile yeah, which your yeah, opponent's yeah, yeah, killed. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, 40 clan rats, 10 storm vermin. I think the biggest issue is if, if people get into this, right, in combat, or if they, they, they pick apart this. Because I don't know how well the clan rats hold up as a screen. And I personally... Personally, I probably would have taken... Oh, I think this is their base units in 20 years anyway, so you don't yeah, have a choice. Is, yeah. I was going to say, if, if I personally could put take like four units of 10, I would have. But you've got uh, Magnificent, you've got an extra artifact, um, Hunters of the Heartland on the Clan Racks, very good idea. Um, you know, very cool. This, from a hobby perspective, is... Um, cancer like it would have taken ages and i know these a lot of these are very old models um so i'm excited to see this and this this whole list could go for one if you roll high enough that's what no, you gotta do look, i think it oh, falls in the um rough. it's it's skaven regrettably they suffer horribly you know i separate my suicide squads <laughs> it's, it's what you need to do you need to have a pile of your own that you've killed the pile that your opponent's killed and you just be like i killed more i win anyway and you just do your typical cheating skaven yeah yeah but, um, just very cool. I, don't, I don't know i i can't comment i don't know how to go i fucking want to see it i want to buy this guy a beer because i love everything in that list definitely something very fun that's a spectator sport um list that one is all right so we're down to steve kassem we're nearly there um steve he's from future proof running uh, uh storm night horn oh night now horn. this is a based king night of shrouds <laughs> Lady Let's go on 13 -0. typical skaven cheating see yeah tomb banshee <laughs> tomb banshee but a six spirit host very cool two black coaches no this is it this is the base to death list man decided he wants and also i know much these black coaches cost man. um they are so many points they're almost as many dollars but they're really good yeah if this... you roll up the proper amount of spook points yeah from the get -go. so yeah this is gonna be like how many spook points can you roll i think this is um 100 dudes um i rate this um <laughs> It's a solid 99 out of 100 dudes. <laughs> yeah, I rate this 10 spooky boys out of 10. I, You know, everything here is really cool. I'm going to have to ask what it does as a general rule. Um, the characters, I think the biggest... Emerald Host is one of the newer ones. I can't tell you what it does. Um, Spirit Hosts are good. 
I think you Chain should get... Chain Rasps are still eh. The Mirmorn Banshees are kind of crap, unless they buff them. I, th I think the biggest thing here is it's going to be hot rolling, right? If if the dice are in the favour, I think this is a 3-2 list, but if they're not, I think this is a 2-0, 2-3 two oh, two, two, list. Um, because you you a lot of D threes and D six with with uh, Lady Olander and her mortal wounds, you know, and and also being ethereal, it's going to depend on how many of those four ups you can roll, uh, you know, and save those six up deathless saves. So, you know, good luck. I, I hope to see this on the table. Um, I think that you're going to have a good time, uh, and uh, it's definitely a very spooky list. Uh, very, very fun. Uh, they're going to get their new book soon, so uh, just hold out. All right, so we've got Stephen Jury with D3 Mortal, Mortal Wounds doing Lumineth Realm Lords. Uh, how many Sentinels? Do you reckon 40, 30? Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, my God. 20. Oh, 20? No, oh, sad. But still, oh, my God. Stone Guard, Stone Guard. This is based. I love this. Very, very cool. Um, any any tech in here you want to tell us about? Who's Kazel, the Sunstrider? Come on. Oh, he's just renamed Techless. Oh. Okay. Oh, um, yeah. um, no, I, I can't see this working particularly well. Unfortunately for me, the Stone Guard have been nerfed. Well, not nerfed. They just... They are the least competitive unit in a book which has very limited at the moment competitive units. I, I hope so, this man goes 5-0 and oh and just like... I, I hope you, he just shows you, me that I'm you, incredibly wrong. Yeah, yeah makes, makes you regret all your life decisions because it's like, I can do it too. And, and then you'll buy the Stone Guard <laughs> just in time for you to get a new book. I've already got 20 Stone Guard. I haven't oh, yeah. actually used... Sorry, I think I've got probably 30 or 40. I've got a stupid... Very, amount. very, very cool. I... I'm probably, this is a 2-3 a, a list, but if he's very good and there's some sec secret sauce in there, some... Yeah, I reckon... Uh, I reckon it's Beastmaster, he's trying to keep Techless alive. Um, how many drops is he? One. One, yeah. So he's I'm... trying to go for first turn, get all of his buffs and debuffs off, and he's just going to roll up to the midline, hold the points as long as possible I wonder while trying I, to destroy his opponents. I wonder how he'll go in the match against all the like destruction that there is at the moment. There's a lot of there's a lot of like Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. Um very I know, exciting. I, I, I can't comment, I don't know. Again, uh, D3 Mortal Wounds guys are really good, so Steven Nuttall with the uh Stormcast Eternals again. We've got Night Junior Cater and just one leader? Is that right? No, Lord He's Relic got two. with the uh, okay and translocation. I'm really intrigued to find out people's love for judicators because they're so so expensive in points. Apparently they're very good. Apparently this is better than the um, the six. Um, yeah, but they're not six hundred points better. If they were less points, they'd be better. Yeah. Um, Liberators, Liberators, you've got Storm Drake Guard, and then you've got some Fulminators. I think this is pretty good. I don't know if this is going to do as well as the Tried and True, but this is all going to be up to piloting. It, it could be 2-3, two, two, it could be 5-0, it's, it's really hard to tell. Like, there's a lot of leaning on these Fulminators and these Storm Drake Guard, you know. I think the big issue is you have to deal with them, and... And right now we sit in the point in Age of Sigma where the, the the unit's war scroll is what matters the most. Like it used to be like, oh, the sub factions and things make certain war scrolls more powerful. But right now, with the way command points work and everything getting plus one, just having a good war scroll and that neg two rend is going to be massive. So, yeah. Yeah, they're so good. Yeah, they, they're just amazing. Um, Tero Kanko with some blood tooths. Let's have a quick squiz at that. I'm excited to see. I've yeah. seen his name before, and it rings a bell. What? What have we got? We've got Arab's Feast. Azrab's Fist. Which more is his Crusher. Name. Is it just one more Crusher? Yeah. So this is the one more Crusher with like yeah. Look at all Mega these. Mega Destroyer, Fasten, typical U two War Chances. 
He's got a weird knob shaman, six gold runners, six gold runners, ten. Uh, what's that? Ten hard boys, five brutes. I I think yeah. this is the more competitive. Yeah, the crumpers and the thumpers, love it. I, I think this is the more competitive of the of the lists as far because I think that while the two cabbages are very good, uh, I think that uh, this that's is why the name of... rings a bell. He's ex white dwarf. <laughs> yeah, no, I think this is going to be a very very competitive list. I think Thanks this is going, going like a a four four one. A, you know, uh, and I'm I'm excited to see this list give some of the the alpha strike lists a hard time. It is two drops, so yeah, and 146 wounds. That's wild, absolutely. Yeah, wild. it's just it's iron jaws, man. They've got so many wounds, it's crazy, and they're so good. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And we got Thomas Holdsworth from Lords of Ruin. What are we running? Oh, more Maggot Kin of Nurgle. Scrotless Burst, Lord of Plagues. What a name. Fecula Flyblown. Rock Cutter. Oh, Rock Spawn. He's definitely gone very yeah. traditional Nurgle names. The Worm Spat, Ice Gone. I, 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 oh, I think this is a this is a one of the legions there. Um yeah, you very... mean the um, um... Uh, oh, we've been saying it all night. We're towards the end. <laughs> what did Jess tell me to stop saying Warband. Chad? Is oh Warband? yeah, Warband. Yeah, no. Jess just sent me a message saying stop saying Chad and based. Just reply back, no. It's no. Chad and based. <laughs> yeah, it is truly. We are on the road to being. Um, you got to go to the gym. Uh, gym, then wargaming, then painting your minis and not buying any more um, mm. until you've painted them all. Um, you must walk the path, my sons. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think this is really cool. I'm. <sighs> I like it. It's gonna. It's different. Again, we're gonna see a lot of different Nogal lists. 134 wounds is pretty big. 12 it's drops 12 is drops. gone. Mm. I don't know if it it's... People, Nogal doesn't care about drops. They're going to survive regardless of what you throw at them first turn. They're going to give up a lot I, of... I like um, it. I, I think uh, also going first uh, gives up a lot of, like, real estate on the board. And you now, you're now moving into your opponent, which is, like, is worse overall. So, I don't know. Uh, very interesting. I think these Nogal lists are going to be the ones to look out for. I don't have... Like, a lot of these are characters that I just don't... I mean, I, have to, I don't know what they do. They're all going to do something really spooky, and um, I, I don't know. But, um, yeah, very, very cool. What have we got? Uh, that was Lords of Ruin. So Thomas Strachan now. So we're running. Grave Lords. Um, Volga. Oh, that's very cool. Nice to see a different uh, leader there. Vampire Lord, Radica the Beast. Oh, yes. Yeah. I love this. I Dial love this wolf. because Bella Dama is Bay. She's yeah. the fucking wolf queen. He's taken dire wolves. Oh. Very cool. <laughs> this, this, this is a cool list. Um, I hope it goes well. I have a feeling that he's definitely played Rule of Cool there rather than. Um, the no, Ice Spawn ones. is just the name of his Chaos Spawn. What? Oh, okay. The yeah, previous yeah. list. Like, yeah. we were sitting there going, it's a war band, but it's not. We're just retarded. End yeah. of this chaos spawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Grave Guard, very cool. Nice to see some Grave Guard. They're nice models as well. Great White Blade. A corpse cart with Unholy Lodestone. I, you know what? This actually might get a few people, like, off the cuff. It just depends, like, these characters, cool. whether or not they can It doesn't say like, how many um, drops models there. there are. I guess he's kind of missed that as he was posting it in. The the app is a bit shit when, it, when you post it in, so... Okay, it's the app, is it? Yeah, yeah. Because, I don't know, for me, when I tried to go on War Scroll Builder, it was just having a conniption, and I was already struggling with the Best Coast pairing stuff. Um, you know, I think it's great that they've less used their programming, but just... A lot of people are having issues between the app and the actual website, so you know that paired with everything was just too much. To uh, Timothy Gunderson, mm. who decided to yell as he was putting his last name in. 
Yeah, yo, no need to yell, all right? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just reporting on, ah, uh, ah. Uh, actually, this isn't that bad. He's only got the long strike crossbows. The rest is just liberators and protectors. There's no, uh, there's no dragons The here. protectors are the gotcha. Are they? It's those star soul maces. Are they spooky? They're mortal wounds. Okay. Um, I was expecting to see some fulminators here, or like, have I missed something? Um, the... I I can't recall what he's on. Nothing, Canter. It it shoots you. Very cool. Um, nine drops. I don't know. I think this is. I think this unfortunately is. Is a is a two three list or maybe a three two? I That's think... if he doesn't just get drunk and then totally write himself off. <laughs> well, I mean, I think that just uh, the, the having the liberators instead of full. Uh, he's is... a cool dude. Uh, he's he's funny. He's just here to roll some dice. He he does play some good storm cast. So I reckon we'll see a better performance in two three. We just have to wait and see. Uh, he'll be remembered Gunderson, he who went Stormcast but did not bring dragons or Fulminators. <laughs> he who drank himself to oblivion and still went 5-0 without dragons. <laughs> beer, beer hammer, yep. Um, Tom Kelly, mystery list, mystery gentleman. Let's have a squiz. Ideneth Deakin, Arkelian King... Morsa, Morsa. Gishran Tidecaster, Morsa Guard, Morsa Guard, Alapexes. This feels like um, maybe an old 2.0 list that's sort of just been shifted into the, the new list. I don't know if yeah, the Morsa... Yeah, dropped out some eels, put in some thralls. There's no... There's no... Oh, there's one Alapex here, which feels like a missed uh, opportunity. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, no, been, yeah, the one times means it's been reinforced. So he's got three reinforcements, and uh, they're in Hunters of the Heartland, so, you It'd know. be interesting. Um, it, you're right. It does look like an old 1.0 list that was converted. Yeah, or yeah. Or is it 2.0 with Ideneth? I don't know. I, don't, it just, know it just depends one, whether or not the Morsar Guard are worth taking into the Alapexes, you know. Um, that's just going to be the long and short of it. Uh, I don't know how much the... the um, Ideneth are just, you know, as I said before, the the War Scrolls themselves are just going to be really good compared to, like, whether or not their leaders have to buff them up. Because I know in Seraphon, it's really about your leaders buffing up your troops so that they're very good, where in some of the other From armies... Memory, the Ideneth are relatively like, all good at the department. They don't yeah. need the heroes. Yeah, they don't. It's like So if these get shot out, it's not like a big deal. And they've I also... Believe, yeah, yeah. Um, I think this has got... I, I don't know. I, th I think this is definitely a two-win list. I've been list. saying 3-2 all day, so let's just go with 3-2. No, nah, I, I think this is a 2-3 <laughs> list, depending on whether or not these Morsar Guard can actually keep up. I, it's just... Yeah. Because I've heard a lot about the Alapexes. I just heard nothing about the Morsar Guard. Yeah, so, no, they've, they've got a nerf. Yeah, and, and also having reinforced, that means you're going to have six, which means it's going to be difficult to shift them around. So you're hoping to lose one so you can get them all into currency, you know, um, which is rough. Uh, Trevor Williams from with some Stormcast Eternals. And here we go. It's um, it's a... Sh Bastion again. Um, Lord Imperin, hold on. This is different. I don't know what that does. I mean, Lord Imperitan. Nah, Lord no Enchanter, Liberators, Liberators, Judicators. Okay, so this one's gone the Bolt Storm crossbows and the Long Strike crossbows and the Annihilators. I think this one's like... With, with Hammers of Sigma, I don't Which think it's... And is three on the objective for the Liberators. I think, I think this is a three and two list at the very least. Um, yeah. I think it's going to stuff the stuff The Annihilators there. are a big spook point because they're just so good. And they're three drops. And these three drops. And they're in Hunters of the Heartlands as well, which is like, oof. Which means they're going to be getting their plus one to save or their plus ones to hit, you know. So, yeah, very cool. Um, don't 
know if it's anything particularly inspired, but I think that it's definitely competitive. So um, I'm going to sit back and drink beers while all these Sigma players fight. Uh, sorry, uh, Stormcast Eternals fight each other. Tyler McDonald with a mystery list. Let's have a quick squeeze. Another magnet can of... Yeah. Drown men again. I'm going to have to look these characters up. Demon Spew, Lord of Afflictions, Rotspawn, Pascoil Blight Lords. So these... Yeah. Ten yeah, gores, ten gores. A gores are an interesting choice. Uh, maybe they're just a... Interest, like a, a filler unit or a screen. Floor drops, 124 wounds. Um... They're definitely going to take a I punch. I dare say the gores are running up to the objectives while the flies try and kill your opponent. Yeah, yeah, for I sure. I think that's pretty much what it is. And then the Blight Lords are part of the Hunters of the Heartland, so they're just going to take the punch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, I, I couldn't... You know, it's been very hard for me to read a Maggot Kin because I'm yet to play against them. Uh, here we go, the only other Seraphon player. Tip my hat to you. Mate, Let's... this is all you. I have no idea about Seraphon. So he's running Thunder Lizard, Beastmaster. He's got Gotrek. Yuck. Engine of the Gods with the Cloak of Feathers, which is the plus four to move and minus one to hit and fly. He's He's got Curse, Skink Priest, Skink Star Priest, Pterodon Chief. Hey, that's interesting. A Pterodon Chief. Um... Slan Star Master with Arcane Might. Huh? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, broke. Broke no, no, because usually in this list. Give me one second. I think I've always wondered this about whether or not you could choose a different... I think, yeah, so he's chosen for the Slanderbees General and then he's chosen for that command trait. Uh, it's just interesting. Um, so Arcane Mate gives you reroll one casting, dispelling, un unbinding roll for each um, in each turn. So, like, it's, it's good. But uh, I was just having a look at the Thunder Lizard... Um, Yeah. Okay, so if you a Thunder Lizard general with a monster mount must have this command trait. So because he's not chosen a monster, he can have any other one. I always wondered if he could do that. He's got three units of ten skinks. Oh, six Pterodon riders actually Chad. So what's going to happen here is the Pterodon riders are going to fly over something. They're going to be in range of this uh, Pterodon chief. He's going to use a command point, and they're going to drop six rocks doing six D3 mortal wounds on a two up. So, you know, six two ups, probably failing one statistically. So probably five D3 mortal wounds. And then you're probably getting maybe um, two, four, six, eight mortal wounds out of this. I, don't, I just, I think they're very cool. I think, and also the Sun Leech Bowlers, the D6 shots each. I think that Ceridon Riders are probably better as a unit of three to cap objectives and if they do model wounds that's good i don't i just don't think that they're good enough for six of them like that's that's the whole thing and he's got basti with solar engines there's definitely not a slouch um in combat but i think that um probably dropping a skink unit and the pterodon riders or dropping pterodon riders and the pterodon chief for a, a steg Skink on Steg Chief is probably like the better move, but I love that he's using pterodons that don't get used enough. Very cool. Um, I think this is a two and three list, um, or if he's a very good player, three or four. But I, I in this meta, I don't see it going much better. We might play against each other. So, uh, last least, yeah, last but least, Zor Zoran Tillers, some Sutherland Shire gamers with Hammers of Sigma. Let's have a quick squeeze. All right, Stormcast Eternals. We finish up. Hammers. Vandor Dragonsaw. No, it's just a Nitroconus. Nitroconus. Uh, see, this is this is stuffing me up every time. 
uh, <laughs> Bal- so Lord Relictor, Tomes, yeah, um, three Praetors. Lost, Storm Drake Guard, two units of five Vindicators, three Praetors. I, this I is... have no... I don't know what the oh, Praetors are. I know what the Praetors are. They're like the uh, hero arm um, guys. I think that this, the, all of these lists, all of these lists is going to come down to individual skill. It's going to be a lot on deployment. It's going to be a lot on, this is a one drop, so at least he's, you know, it's going to be that roll off against the other one drop. And um, the, these games are either going to be over very quickly or, or, or like they're going to take ages. Yeah, you know, because yeah, sure. it's going to come down to measuring like threat ranges. Um, you know, they they don't when Stormcast plays against Stormcast, they don't have any um, they don't have any screens. So, you know, this is going to be one of those raptor off. Can I kill your raptors before you kill mine, or vice versa? You know, um, yeah. Good luck. Uh, probably capable of 4-1 um as i said it's come come down to the pilot i think i don't know whether or not these um the praetors are going to be good enough and i think overall maybe i'm putting too much faith in the vanguard raptors but you know they're in every list for a reason or nearly every list you know so yeah what a what a slog we've been streaming yeah, for nearly four, four hours. hours four hours um, well, I wasn't thank... here for about 30 of them, but I was still doing things. Um, I know that there was some lists that haven't come in. My god, I am totaled. That was from uh, 6 to 10 p.m. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, um, I know we're a little rough around the edges, but that's how we like to be. If you like the content, um, sub, uh, have a look at Instagram and and Facebook, and if you're that kind of person, I do some cringe on TikTok, you know, if you're feeling up for that. But thank you very much for sticking around. Um, and yeah, if I'll post a link to the Discord if you want to chat more. Uh, we play games with all our community as well. Um, I think we've got some other video game stuff later on, but I think I'm going to call it for a night. Did you enjoy yourself, Damo? Yeah, it was good fun. I mean, we, as Zephyr mentioned a couple of times, definitely lived up to the statement of have no idea what we're talking about. Yeah. But you all got to listen to our random banter and, um, well, as Hayden had said, we're a little rough around the edges. So <laughs> I hope it was fun for you all. Thanks I've, for listening. I've sobered up from the start, mate. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. The cheapest thing in Nurgle is 105 points. Everything less is filler. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's what the goals are for yeah yeah oh wow um you know yeah, I, signing I, off guys thanks you, again you can head Ladies. off i'm gonna close it out mate thank you very much for coming around you know feel free to yell at me if you think i was a bit mean to the stormcast players um it's it's just rough you know like um the diversity of the lists and i think you know i i don't think there's anything super spicy that i saw I'd like to see you go 3-2 at, at least. I think you've got the opportunity. I wonder how many of these um, Stormcast Eternal lists are like... I know, I know a couple of people in there that they're good players. I just wonder if we're going to see something like Ogre um, more Tribes or something go top because they just take up space on turn one or something like that, you know? Um interesting nonetheless uh, i'm excited to see all of you who are going to be at sydney gt um i'd love to see you face to face and meet you and uh, maybe we can have a drink together although i think if i had a drink for every single one of you i would be catatonic so um probably not but uh maybe water i'll be very hydrated um if you'd like to have a look at our other stuff i'd love to see you there i'll post the um, discord link in the chat I think I'm going to sign off because my eyeballs are hanging out of my head. And, um, you know, maybe we'll do some more streams. Uh, I think the TP shooting scum house must be... Yeah, yeah. I, I just... I don't know how fun those games are going to be. That's my biggest thing. Is um, 
even when I come to a tournament, I'm not a good enough player to go top table. So I sort of think about what I'm going to have play, fun playing and what my opponents are going to have fun playing against. It's probably why I dropped the Salamanders. And I understand that's not the reason why everyone comes to a tournament. Most people come to win. But then I sort of think, well, if you look at the representation, that's just there's an obvious little problem here. Um, so maybe that's something that in the future or going forward for events needs to be had a look at by the community if Games Workshop's not going to react fast enough to it. Um, but, you know, that's uh, that's my take on it. I, th I think uh, with the millions of dollars that Games Workshop has, they have the ability to to create a very balanced and fun game that's um, very... And, and don't get me wrong, Age of Sigma has been great, but as as they can see, like just this whole Salamander War Scroll needs to just get shot into the ground. It, they need to be like maybe two damage max, you know, if they're going to be Ren two, and like two shots, and they still should be like 120 points. That all the the skink guys apart uh, should be separate from the unit, so that you can't just take away skinks as as um as part of the uh, the wounds. You know, I, I, there's there's a lot of little bits and pieces, um, and I don't think I think Age of Sigma definitely, yeah. I, I think I don't think that getting shot turn off off turn one is is very fun experience, um, and I guess there's sort of this feeling like when you when you spend fifty sixty bucks and you go to an event, and you know that's why I said to a lot of people just have fun. Putting your models on the table because you know this tournament that's how long they might be there for deployment you know i hope that the terrain like i've seen magro's terrain looks good i hope a lot of it's line of sight blocking because uh we're going to need it i'm glad i took that spell ghost mist i think i'm gonna have to catch up magro and just say um hey i don't know why it's not on there but that's what it should be um not that you use it often usually you want his other spell it's better but yeah all right I said I was going. I'll rant for longer. Catch you guys later. Um, signing off.